Hello everyone, this is Aaron Fritz from ATF Gaming and welcome, finally, to the 500 subscriber special. It only took about an hour for YouTube to figure out it was broken. I gotta make sure everything's working. ATF Gaming and welcome, finally. To yeah, so that's working. I gotta make sure all my monetization's on. All this stuff. I will tweet the stream out again. Um, since everything broke the first time. Yeah, I don't know what happened because I was all set up to go. I was uh, in the comments. I said I had to be five minutes late because uh, somebody put the laundry in for a little bit too long. And then immediately after that, YouTube decided to crash and burn and everything went wrong. So we are finally, finally able to start the five hour live stream. I was literally filming a video on my phone to tell you guys that I wasn't going to be able to do the live stream today. I was literally just filming that, and I refreshed the page, and it all of a sudden worked again. So we are finally able to get started. Of course, now everything's delayed an hour, so I'm going to be going until almost 7 p.m., which is not what I wanted to do. Welcome to James, who was here earlier, uh, joking with Lava and Colton. Welcome to those of you who are here early. So we are going to start out by finishing this season of career mode. That should take uh, an hour, hour and a half-ish. Uh, we only have seven races left. Um, so it might take two, two hours, actually. So we're going to finish that, and then with whatever time remaining, we'll do some online races on the PlayStation Network. So if you stick around that long, then you can definitely join in for that if you have a PlayStation um, so yay exciting so unfortunately since we are an hour behind we are going to be conflicting with the Xfinity race already which is really unfortunate um, I, that's why I started early so we could avoid the um, end of the Xfinity race I was hoping because they're starting out like 2.30, 3.30, something like that. And I was hoping to avoid the end of that race, but now we're kind of on collision course with that. So that's unfortunate, but let's get started. So yeah, I, I've I found out that since we struggled on Legend difficulty for so long last season, that's kind of why we're not getting Xfinity offers, because we are kind of a step behind everybody else. So let's just head off to the races. Welcome to the uh, few of you who are watching. Hello, Lava Cake. Well, we got lots of lava going on in the in the chat today. But let's just head off to the next race here. New Hampshire. We are in the playoffs. We're starting off as the four seed in the playoffs. New Hampshire is the first race for the truck. So let's get started here. Just making sure everything's on track here. Considering how uh, ridiculous YouTube just crashed and burned for an hour, I'm very wary of something else going wrong right now. But welcome to those of you who are here already. But yeah, it was just a mess. It was an absolute mess. But New Hampshire, this is probably going to be the worst track for us in this round. But let's see what we can do. Um, I gotta turn the volume down just a tad. It's a little loud for my liking. Hello, Phantom. Welcome to the stream. That was supposed to start an hour ago, but now we're finally on on track here thanks to YouTube being um, ridiculously slow and fixing some issues in my opinion but overall I mean an hour is a lot better than it could have been but it's still annoying so New Hampshire is definitely going to be the worst track for us in this round I feel um, I tried to do a test race during the brokenness earlier, and it did not go very well, so let's just hope that we can uh, salvage a decent finish and hopefully still have some room to grow in the chase with the next two tracks being um, Talladega, I know is one of them, I'm not sure what the other one is, 
But hey, we qualified 26, so not bad. And let's start the race now. Oh, I hope I have my settings correct. I, I maneuvered my settings around a little bit for um, some off-screen stuff. Yeah, practice is on right now. I, I wasn't too concerned about practice or qualifying, but I am concerned about the uh, Xfinity race. Since I, I too want to watch that. I knew my five-hour stream would cut into it a little bit, but I was hoping that um, we could at least uh, avoid uh, going over the end of the race. But it looks like with this hour delay that YouTube has forced me into, we might be overlapping to the end a little bit, which is... Unfortunate. Um, like I said, I'll be going online after we finish the chase, so it might not be for a couple of hours, but this is a five hour stream and I want to finish this season in the truck series and then we'll go online afterwards. So if you want to stay, stick around and watch, great. If you don't, then um, I, I say it'll be at least two hours because we have seven races left at least two hours and then we'll see. Eat chicken nuggets really you are making me hungry now. I've had way too many chicken nuggets in the last couple days. McDonald's is my meal of choice in college because there's one right off of campus and it's super fast, super easy. I have enough time to do everything. So yeah, McDonald's has definitely been my meal of choice recently. Go oh, Broncos? Alright. Go Lions for me. Hi Robbie, how's it going man? So remember, Austin Hill is level 5 completely pissed off at us, so let's see if he'll do anything to us this time. We passed Tommy Joe Martins, he's also level 5 pissed off at us now. But let I, I did feel like Tommy Joe Martins gave me a little bit of a rough time, but I wasn't thinking about it at the time. But yeah, we're not moving up very fast. I'm not a big fan of New Hampshire in, the, in these games. Like, I love New Hampshire in the EA Sports game because it's super easy, but in, these, in uh, NASCAR Heat Evolution and in this game, it's definitely a lot harder. Colin Rad, how's it going, my friend? Who was it? It was Bragger that changed his name to Colin Rad during last stream. So. Uh, I'm glad to see that this is you. Welcome to the stream, Colin Rad. We're finishing up career mode, uh, season two, or season one, depending on if you consider the hot pass seat, or the hot seat season a season, or if you consider that an intro season, but. Welcome to those of you who are here. Like I said, we were supposed to start an hour ago, but YouTube live streaming decided to crash and burn, so now we're an hour behind schedule. Um, I was not thrilled about that because I do want to catch the end of the Xfinity race, but I am worried that we are going to overlap with the end now. But we will see how things go here. I am, I have committed to five hours, which is a terrible idea, and I regret it already, but it is what it is. For those of you who are watching, I, I warn you, this is a one-time only special. I will not be doing a six-hour stream for 600 or anything like that. The next big thing will be a thousand, and I, I'll probably do something else. I won't be doing a 10-hour stream for a thousand. Right on. That's just a fair warning to those of you who are expecting me to start doing this as a regular thing. Not happening. Oh, that's cool. They have the little round of eight thing above the uh, driver. That's cool. I didn't know that. I've, this is the first time in the playoffs for me in this game, so that's cool. But, yep. We'll, we'll finish off this season, get ourselves set up for next season, and then we will 
do online for PlayStation Network. I'll open my own lobby. We'll get as many people in as we can. Face reveal at 50 million. I'll probably do it before 50 million, but I don't know. 50 million will probably be when I'm about 100 years old anyway at this rate. But really, when you think about it, I, I, I got 504 months. So let's see. If, if we keep on that trend, so I'd be at 1,500 every year. <laughs> so I'd be at one, 1,500 every year. So somebody do that math. 1,500 every year, how, how many years would it take me to get to 550 million? So 50 million divided by uh, 1,500. Learning with Aaron, math, math time with Aaron. Well, remember, John's at 5,000 on his main channel. Um, I, I am higher than him on his racing channel, but yeah. But I'm higher than him. I'm higher than Mr. McBlam, which I don't think is deserved, in my opinion. I think I'm higher than Justin, too, right now. So we're definitely, definitely on the right path. But like I said, it, it all happened with NASCAR Heat 2 getting to me early. That, that's really the only thing that's helping me here. Well, we got one left to go on the stage, and we have been stuck here in 15th, which is not good uh, if we want to be anywhere reasonable in the chase, because we are last place uh, among chase drivers in this race right now. As you can see, Austin Wayne Self is right ahead of us. He's the first chase guy we've seen today. So, New Hampshire is not being kind to us today, but that's going to be the end of stage one right there. Uh, we don't get any stage points, which isn't going to help us, because I'm pretty sure everybody but Austin Wayne Self and us got stage points there. I'm um, not going to pit. I don't want to worry about pitting. That just throws an extra wrench into this. But let's see if we can take advantage of the restart here. Uh, we know we probably are about a 15th place truck, but if we can take advantage of the restart here, maybe we can uh, make up some positions by dive bombing these corners. The low line, you don't want to be on the low line here at New Hampshire. It's completely flat, no banking whatsoever. But the second and third line have banking, and that will help you turn in the corner. But yeah, if, if I hadn't gotten NASCAR Heat 2, we'd still be at about, you well, know, maybe if we're lucky, 100. Because we were at 40 before I got in. And I knew doing NASCAR Heat 2 on release day would get me some. Maybe, maybe uh, 10 or 15 or more than that. But it's um, the fact that I got it two days early definitely put me in this position. But really, I, I, I was only at about 300 by the time NASCAR Heat 2 actually released. Because we didn't get to 500 until um, after NASCAR Heat 2 released, the second career mode stream. So while yes, it helped, technically we didn't get uh, get it until after Heat 2 came out. Is it tough being a college student and a YouTuber? Um, if it was just those two things, no. But the fact that I have a teaching job on top of it, uh, yes. But I also don't put as much effort into it as John does. I know he puts way too much effort in, in, into it, is my opinion. But um, right now, my college life is pretty straightforward. Um, but it's the fact that I have a job on top of that and this. It makes it hard. But now that I'm finally monetized, um, it'll make um, give me a little more motivation. I, I, did, uh, what, I can't worry today. I uh, drove into that a little too deep and locked up the brakes. But, um, yeah, the job portion of it definitely makes it hard because usually I have school all day, 
I have just a short break uh, in between school, and then I go to work at night, and then I'm usually up and up until 1 or 2 a.m. trying to get the next day's video ready. And now, now we're hitting football season, we're hitting competition season, so my schedule's only going to get busier until uh, November. And then once November hits, well, excuse me, we'll be in much better shape. Yeah, John doesn't have a, <laughs> a real job. I, I don't know how he survives on YouTube. I really don't. I mean, he... Yes, he has 500 or 5,000 subscribers, but you, he hasn't been getting more more views than I have on videos, really. I mean, his NASCAR 06 videos do pretty well, but... Yeah, it's... I, I, don't, I don't know how, how he can live off of that. Should I get a summer job and do a class online? Online classes are not as big of a burden, in my opinion. I actually quite enjoyed online classes. So I don't think that'll be a huge burden, because um, I, I could do classwork like while I was editing a video or waiting for a video to render and stuff like that. So I could multitask there. Um, what was the other thing? Getting a job? Well, at your age, well, I don't know exactly how old you are, Conrad, but I do know you're high school. But um, I think getting a job would be a good experience. And I do think it would be worth it. Um, get yourself ahead of the game a little bit. Because as, as you get older, having more things on your resume for harder and higher level jobs really helps out. Even if it's something as simple as fast food. It really helps. And you don't have to tell us how old you are, Conrad. <laughs> yeah, but I knew you were in high school. But, um... I mean, you're... So sophomore in high school, you're gonna be getting the. Oh yeah, you you talked about driving already. That's right. But um, yeah, I having a job on your resume definitely helps. It'll help with college applications too. Um, just having that work experience. I really want to get in the top. Oh, I didn't notice that either. The chase drivers are highlighted in the leaderboard as well. But um, I really want to get a stage point here. Just something. But unfortunately. Uh, we're pretty well stalled out here. Yeah, but, um... An online class I don't think will be a huge burden. Um, I think you could definitely do multiple things with an online class. Because you can usually pace yourself with online classes. Driving is a fun thing. It definitely, I, I cannot, uh, well luckily for me, I have a lot of stuff that was pretty uh, near my household. Um, it was, I always biked around. My school was only about a half a mile away. I always biked to school usually. I, right, right past the school was a general store, the um, video store, gas station was all right by the school. So I could just bike bike to everything, well, farthest I had to bike for anything important was maybe like uh, two miles, but that, I, I used to bike for everything. Um, right now we are finishing career mode, so online races probably won't be for another hour and a half, two hours at the earliest. Uh, remember, I am going five hours today, so online races will be after I finish this season of career mode. We still have uh, six races after this race to finish. So it'll be about an hour and a half, two hours before we do online races. But we'll that'll still leave about you know two hours, two and a half hours for online stuff. I just spun out Noah Gregson there, and he's a chase guy, so he's probably not going to be too thrilled with me. But yeah, I wanted to finish this career mode first, or this season of career mode first, and then we will still have plenty of time for online races. But I know that's going to slightly conflict with the Xfinity series, but unfortunately that's the predicament YouTube put me in when they uh, their site crashed and burned earlier today, and I had to start an hour late. 
and I just spun out yet another chaser. I mean, I'm, I'm eliminating the chase drivers all by myself right now. But Grant Emfinger got around me. That's not what I wanted to see. At this rate, I'm enjoying streaming the career mode. Um, those videos have gotten great views. It, it saves me some recording time. Um, I don't have to edit those. I just uh, upload them straight from YouTube. Um, so I, at this rate, I'm just going to keep streaming. I can get uh, bigger chunks done. I'll still be ahead of most of the big name YouTubers. That's the goal right now is just to stay ahead of everybody. So people have an, a reason to keep watching me over some of the other people. But it definitely seems like... And that will also leave uh, the weekdays open to NASCAR 06 and Dirt to Daytona. Which is definitely going to be uh, to my advantage because I have enjoyed both of those series. So uh, NASCAR 06 will start coming back this week. Dirt to Daytona will continue. But yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying streaming this right now. It's definitely more convenient in my mind. But I might have to start moving streams to Sundays pretty soon. Which of course conflicts with the Cup Series, I know. So I'll probably do Sunday nights or something like that. Or maybe Friday nights. Um, it really depends on the weekend because some weekends I have football games I have to go to for marching band. Some days I have uh, competitions on Saturday, which also means rehearsals on Saturday. So um, it'll be a little inconsistent, but I definitely want to keep this on the street. To be honest, I think the F1 games would really help your channel grow. All right, fair enough. Um... F1 games are expensive, <laughs> but I, I would like to try them out. I've never actually tried an, an open wheel game, so that would be cool. It's definitely a lot more in depth. It's a good job off here. But once the feed Aaron fund starts uh, get, getting some traction, <laughs> excuse me. Once the feed air and fun starts getting some traction, then maybe. Cool dude, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Um, it's quite a milestone for such a young channel. I appreciate it a lot. NASCAR man, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. We just got passed by Austin Wayne Self, who's a chaser, which I'm not thrilled about. He's one of the chasers who's behind me in the standings right now, so... We need to definitely keep our eyes on him, but we're just not fast. I wish I had uh, loosened up the car a little bit after qualifying. That's my fault. Still there. Yeah, Colin Rad, I, I unfortunately have to buy everything for console that I want to do on the channel right now because unlike John, I don't have the best uh, computer and I have really struggled with recording PC stuff, so I would have to get everything for our consoles right now, which sucks. But I just, until I can get enough money to get a new computer, a faster processor, stuff like that, I just can't um, record on PC right now, which is terrible, honestly. I, I recorded the predictions video for both the 2018 season and the Chase prediction video on PC but that doesn't involve games running at the same time but I do want to try out F1 but that that's maybe like fourth or fifth on the on the list of things I need to get right now um, definitely I want to get a new NHL game coming out I want to get a steering wheel a Logitech steering wheel that would be really cool that would make racing a lot more interesting in my opinion and maybe I won't get yelled at for being terrible all the time need a new computer honestly so I I got my monetization request oh three days or uh, acceptance three days ago so I just got my first report um, yesterday and I, it's going to take me a while before I can actually start making the money because there is a $100 threshold that I have to reach before I can get paid. So I, I have to wait until I get $100 I 
and ad revenue before I can actually get paid. So it's still going to be a little while before I can actually start getting the money, but I have started making money um, as of two days ago. So I'm doing well, Daniel. How are you? Uh, besides YouTube crashing and burning earlier today, I've been I slept in today. I had a long night last night. We had a football game last night that I had to attend. That was um, a little out of control, to say the least. But um, I was out late last night, and I got to sleep in today. And then YouTube decided to crash and burn. And now I'm an hour behind on my five-hour stream, which might not seem that big to you, but with the Xfinity race today, I really didn't want to um, overlap with the uh, end of the Xfinity race, but we're going to be cutting it pretty close now, I think. We're going to have to go until 7. Well, this is the first chase race on uh, New Hampshire for the trucks. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm running 12th. I think I'm the last person... Uh, in the running order that's in the chase right now, which sucks. Actually, no, I spun, I spun, um, Grant Enfinger out earlier. I spun one, or maybe it was, uh, Cody Coughlin. I spun one of them out, then they're probably still behind me, but everybody else is in front of me in this race, but, uh, this is definitely going to be the worst track for me in this round. Try to work mornings, afternoon do online, and switch it out with John's stream. That's not a terrible plan, if you're a morning person. Because working mornings will probably mean you have to get up at you know, 5 a.m., depending on the job. If you work at a fast food job that opens for breakfast, you're going to be up at 5 a.m. having to get there, um, doing all the prep work and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, here's Ben Rhodes, who I spun out earlier. So now we are officially the last person in the chase, and my car is just super tight right now. I cannot control it to save my life. How many laps do we have left? Oh, this is the last lap. So I need to be aggressive and start passing people. I don't want to lose more points here, but I'm not really in position to do so because the car is terrible. Crud. Well, unfortunately, 16th is not going to help our chase prospects here. which sucks, but we did have a decent amount of playoff points coming in, but this is only an eight driver chase, so there's not much room for error. So unfortunately, that was not the race I wanted to have there. Yeah, we're tied for the uh, cut, uh, cut line right now, and Austin Wayne South has the tiebreaker because of the better finish. And Christopher Bell has advanced himself. So, uh, opinions on the truck race last night. Um, spoiler alert if you have not watched it yet. Uh, the fact that I ended in a tiebreaker for a chase race, that's pretty, that's pretty wild because they, they could draw that back to the finish at Pocono. Um, it was second and third between um, Ben Rhodes and Ryan Turex, so... That was a pretty, pretty close thing, and I feel really bad for Ryan Turex. He has, um, he's had a really good season, in my opinion, so that, uh, really unfortunate for him. All right, we are going to Las Vegas. Hopefully, we can do a little bit better in Las Vegas. But, yeah, overall, it was a good race. Like I said, I, mi I missed most of the race because of the football game last night. It was a... Long night last night, but um, I did catch the end about last 20 laps or so, and I've watched some of the replays and stuff like that. So it was a it was a good race from what I heard, but I just feel really bad for Truex. It's been a it's been a good season for him, but he just has not gotten that one or two finish that he needs because it was the tiebreaker was best finish on the season, and Rhodes had a second place, and Truex didn't. So I feel bad for him. All right, let's qualify at Las Vegas. Hopefully, we'll be a lot better here. Multiple grooves for us to run. I feel much more confident on mile and a half. Which, if you watch my NASCAR 06 series, you'd be like, Aaron, confident on mile and a half. That, that's not something that happens. But in this game, it is. 
Oh, remember, I, I teach marching band, so the marching band performs at the football game. So, I had to be there. The section I teach, um, I have to be in charge of the parents uh, moving all of our equipment onto the field. And there was a bunch of other stuff last night that happened that gave me a ton, of, ton more responsibility. But, um, yeah, last night was just a long night. But yeah, that's what I mean by football games. I have to go in a town because the marching band is performing. I have no desire to go to a high school football game unless if I'm required to, and which in this case I am. And I come from a school that did not have a great high school football team, and because I was in the marching band, we were forced to sit through all the pain and misery every year. 26th place, that's where we qualified last race, isn't it? I mean, it's better than last, but still. I will not disclose my age. Um, I don't. Do, I don't do that kind of stuff. I don't uh, tell people where I live, how old I am, stuff like that. But, I mean, if you listen to some of the things I talk about, you could probably get a pretty good guess. But I won't tell you if you're right or wrong or anything like that. Oh, sorry, Shavis, didn't mean to get into you there. Tommy Joe Martins, he's level 5, pissed off at us. We gotta remember that. So we gotta watch out for him. He'll probably try to run us off the track like um, Austin Hill did the other day. Yeah, he's trying to run us off the track, all right, and he succeeded in messing us both up here. Can we please get a caution? What, what is this madness? Well? Should I restart? Opinions in the chat. Should I restart that? That feels like the game trying to screw me over there. We got kind of a mixed, mixed reaction in the chat, but it looks like the majority is in the yes category. So we are going to restart. I'm not a big fan of doing that, but that should have been a caution. That should have easily been a caution, and that that's the only reason I'm doing this. That's the first time I've done this in this uh, playthrough besides Canadian Tire, in which I restarted because we just got a horrible uh, initial starts to the race. But I don't even know if that was in the career mode playthrough. That might have been a viewer request race, so I don't even know. But yeah, that was a bogus, not, no caution there, so. That's the only reason I'm doing this. I don't feel good about it, but uh, cause especially considering this is the chase race, if this was the regular season race, I'd probably be okay with it, but. Alright. Let's try to make our way up to the front. We got seven laps, six now, to get ourselves into playoff point contention here, which would be nice. Of course, we got our two uh, rivals up ahead. Here's Martins, who's going to run us off the racetrack again. And is that going to be a caution? Because Tommy Joe Martins just tried to run me off the racetrack again. Once we finish this stage, I have to quickly address something, so I'm going to have to take a quick break uh, to try to see if I can address something here.
I just got a text message. I need to address once we reach the end of the stage here. So if if you are confused about why we'll pause at the end of the stage, that'll be why. Um, I don't think I have a BRB screen ready. I will check to see if we do. They have points in online racing? They kind of do. If you stay in the same lobby for a long time, they kind of do. Um, but we'll obviously experiment with that once we hit the online racing. But I'll, I'll be uh, hosting the lobby and uh, you can stay as long as you want. If you get in right on the first try, you can stay as long as you want. We can kind of points race our way out. Uh, we can, we'll run a bunch of tracks, we'll run, um, I'm not sure what series we'll start with yet, but we'll see. I'm slightly concerned about the fact that I didn't get any hot seat offers from the Xfinity Series this season. Um, I think we kind of put ourselves in a bind because of... Uh, because we started on legend mode and we had to do some trial and error uh, because you guys were like oh I want to see this I want to see this and plus we did shorter races at the beginning too so I I don't I'm concerned we're not gonna get an Xfinity offer next year but we will definitely get hot seat offers next year I feel like um, doesn't look like we're gonna crack into the points position for the end of the stage, but we're going to set ourselves up for a good run in stage two. We should get around Snyder here and get 11, which means starting on the inside, which is what I would like, but I'm not going to try to um, wreck him there. So, Alright, I got to quickly address something. Um, so I'm going to see if I have a BRB screen ready here. Alright. Here we go. Now we're ready. I think. Alright. So we just finished stage one. So I don't have super chat because I, you need a thousand subscribers. I, I don't have super chat. I'm working on setting up a, um, a PayPal that I can put in links. But unfortunately, I need a thousand subscribers before I can set up Super Chat. It's it's so is everything back to normal? Oh. Well, now we got eight laps in this stage. We're on the outside, so hopefully we can make some progress going here. But I appreciate uh, those of you who are interested in in uh, giving money. I I'm working on setting up a, a PayPal that that we can do that through. I thought about a Patreon, but um, that just it kind of it's kind of limited in what I can do there. So uh, this is PlayStation 4. Uh, once we finish uh, the chase here, or if I get eliminated from the chase here. Then we'll head off to online races since I took about you know, 10 minutes for that. Um, I'll probably extend our, our stream another 10 minutes to the Lord in heaven. But we'll see. But let's, let's try to move up here. We really need to start getting some stage points if we're going to move up on the chase here. But otherwise, we're just going to stall out because there's only eight drivers and all of the drivers seem to be in the top ten all of the time. So we really need to be getting some stage points. <laughs> Bless me. Sorry about that. Uh-oh. 
let's get around Smith and dive down to the inside. Maybe me himself can take advantage of the fact that Endfinger's up high, but he's going to dive back down. Uh, I know, I should be calling it the playoffs, I'm sorry. I still call it the chase, I call my prediction video the chase predictions video. That's what I'm going to stick with even though I know they're trying to reinvent the name to playoffs. Gotta have some sort of level of consistency between this system and you know, the last 15 years that they've been doing the chase. I think keeping that name is the, the least that they can do. Why I'm on the outside, I don't want to be on the outside. But I want to pass roads here on the inside. So is Briscoe in the chase? Because I know I see Rhodes with the little thing above him. Is Briscoe, Briscoe is not in the chase, so that's a pretty big name driver with not in the chase. I would assume Nemechek is, yeah. So the new subscriber goal is a thousand. Uh, then you, you guys can start doing the uh, super chat. Um, I have a couple of other uh, things I can do with a thousand subscribers. I can start making ads for myself to promote my videos. Um, with 500 subscribers, I was able to get my cu own custom channel URL. So now, now my channel name is actually the URL is YouTube slash C. I think it is slash ATF Gaming. So I have my own custom channel URL. URL now. That actually happened a little sooner than uh, 500. It might have actually been 100. But the more subscribers I get, the higher the perks are. So that is the next goal right now. Um, obviously, it will take a long time to get there, in my opinion. Unless if you guys really share around, find a bunch of new people to join in because we, we've got a long way to go in that, in that goal. I was trying to get Briscoe past Kraft, and he's probably not too happy I'm bumping him down the straightaway right now. But yep, yeah, the next goal is a thousand, but that's going to be a long ways away. Unless if I start getting more games randomly early, my best local Best Buy really wants to screw me, screw, screw the game companies over. Um, they can keep giving me things early. Okay, I really want to get this point on Kraft, but outside's not going to help. Fourth place in stage two, we actually get some stage points here. Who is the best non-chaser? Um, well, on the normal year, it would definitely be Joey Logano. Um, but he just seems to be struggling right now. But Clint Boyer is definitely up there. I do think Eric Jones is finally reaching his stride. So I think it's those three that are really the best non-chasers right now. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get Hot Seat off it because it's uh, in the chase now. In, um, in the tr my first, the intro season, you couldn't get Hot Seat offers in the chase. So we might not be able to get any Hot Seat offers for this next se for this season, which is unfortunate, especially if we win the championship. If we win the championship and we can't move up to the Xfinity, then that, that's kind of a broken system, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I enjoy the fact that Logano didn't get in the chase. I, I'm not a huge Logano hater. I mean, I don't like him, but I don't hate him. But I, I appreciate the fact that this system still can screw some people over. Because you think with 16 drivers in the chase, all the top drivers are going to get in, and then it's just kind of the tier two drivers that are fighting for those last spots. But really, Logano, he's been a top driver in the last three years. So the fact that he got screwed over by the system, I really enjoy. It shows that the system does work, in my opinion. I've, I've been a big fan of the playoffs, chase, whatever you want to call it. I've been a huge fan of it. I, I like the, dr excuse me, the drama it adds. 
I was a huge Logano fan when he first came in. I was always a fan of uh, underdogs and new new drivers. But um, now now that he's starting to be a, um, a you know what at times, um, I really haven't grown to like him anymore. That's for sure. Don't really want to be on the outs outside here. Wow. The pizza is starting to come back up and causing me to burp a lot now. I had pizza right before this. As you can see, we are in the middle of a giant group of chasers. Except for a Chase Briscoe up ahead. I think that's Briscoe. That might be Cindric. I, I can't remember. Their cars look so similar. Let's see if we can get three wide underneath. We just don't have the momentum, though. Speaking of momentum, in this career mode, I haven't gotten any momentum yet. Uh, you know, that that's a new thing in this this uh, game. You get, get momentum, it'll give you a 10% speed boost, I believe it is. But we haven't won any races. We really haven't been racing too clean either. Who do you think is going to be in the 43? Yeah, it, it's... Lo okay, four wide, yeah. It's looking more and more like Bubba Wallace is going to be be there, but if they can't get sponsorship for him, they're going to have to start considering considering um, other drivers because it just seems like for whatever reason, Bubba Wallace and sponsorship are just two things that don't seem to ever want to be together, which is unfortunate because I think Bubba Wallace is a great driver. And I, the King really wants him there, it seems like. Seems like he, the general consensus is they want him there, but it it just doesn't seem like the sponsorships getting together. And at some point they're gonna have to be like we gotta sign somebody with sponsorship. Uh, it may not be the best guy, but they they have to sign somebody who can uh, bring in a paycheck. But otherwise they're just gonna be. Um, in worse shape than they already are, and they're in pretty bad shape right now. I mean, they have to move to a new shop. They sold their shop. Uh, they've gone down from two cars to one. Uh, they haven't had good drivers recently. Er Almirola has been relatively mediocre. He won that race at Daytona, but everything else has been relatively mediocre. I want to cut down in front of M Finger. I don't want him to come past. I really want to get around these two, um, or at least Nemechek, because he is in the chase, and I need I need points, um, obviously. I get a huge run, but the problem is I have no speed on the outside. But let's see if me and Nemechek can work together to at least get around Crafton. We had an opening on Briscoe. I can't tell who that is way out in front, but he's gone. Um, hopefully, I'll get a chance to see it on the leaderboard soon, but he is absolute. that might be Cindric actually, or or that might be Ryan Truex, I can't really tell. Hi, Going to miss your favorite driver, who's your favorite driver? Um, let's see, options are Danica Patrick, Matt Kenseth, Casey Kane, Eric Almirola, well Almirola's going to find a ride somewhere. I'm pretty sure he's going to go to Stuart Haas. That's, that seems pretty set in stone right now. JR Motorsports is completely full right now. They signed um, Tyler Reddick to a full, full season ride next season. So they are completely full up. They have Annette, they have Allgaier, they have Sadler, and they have Reddick now. So. JR is completely full. Alright, well, while I was looking over at chat, we lost a ton of positions because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, well, I was paying attention, but not fully paying attention. If you know what I mean. It's, it's, uh, who, who will be in the... Uh, 42 car. Um, really, Chip Ganassi doesn't have that many people anymore. Um, because Riddick was the only guy who was in that car besides Larson and Justin Marks, who I don't think they're going to bring back full time. But 
but they they really should start signing a development driver because I don't I don't think Jamie McMurray is going to last much longer and Kyle Larson just seems itching to go to a big team. Well, they really should start getting some people in their uh, development program. Five laps to go. Uh, again, whoever is in first place, I can't, it looks like Ryan Truex. Oh, I did not mean to get into Briscoe. Crap, that's not what I wanted to do. And he's still spinning out back there. Crap, I did not want to do that. Yeah, he says he is. I mean, there's been rumors about him going to Stuart Haas Racing. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen this year, but in the future, I definitely see that as a possibility. He, he just seems itching to go to a bigger team. But I think he'll stay with Ganassi just because he wants to, he really wants to try the Indy 500. But if Ganassi cuts him off from doing that uh, uh, next year or the year after that, then I think uh, Larson might be um, wanting to go to another team. Now the whole Kurt Busch situation is still very up in the air. I'm, it's such a confusing situation, but it does, it just seems like um, everything hinges on whether Monster Energy is going to sponsor him next year. If, that, if they don't sponsor him next year, then uh, I think Kurt Busch is out. Which I think that's a horrible situation for Kurt Busch to be in, because he's, he's going to be stuck in this holding pattern until Monster Energy says something. So... Now, um, so, so, uh, I don't know how many of you guys are IndyCar fans, but the, the roster at Penske Racing seems pretty full. They got Joseph Newgarden, Simon Pagano, um, Helio Castroneves has been kind of a big question mark after this year. He's getting up there in age. There's been rumors about him going to sports cars. And then they got, um, oh my gosh, Will Power. But the Ganassi lineup is so much more wide open right now. Um, they have Tony Kanan, who's not going to be back next year. They have Max Chilton, who's been terrible. Um, obviously, the flag flag man of Ganassi Racing and IndyCars is Scott Dixon right now. But I really think um, if Larson wants to do the Indy 500, Ganassi's going to be his easiest shot. And I really do think Larson does want to do the Indy 500 at some point. He has said it, and I really think he wants to. Um, but Penske, I think, would be a harder it would be a harder thing to get Logano or Keselowski to do it, in my mind, because their lineup is so full. And this year, they brought back Juan, Juan Pablo Montoya for the Indy 500 as a fifth car. But we finished fourth. That's a good finish for us. It won't be that easy, but because I don't think McMurray wants to do it. Poole's too young, but uh, but I do think Larson will do it. Ganassi, uh, their IndyCar team kind of in a mess right now, but that that's not going to happen. But I do think Larson has a chance of doing the Indy 500 uh, next year, especially. Yeah, that was Austin Cindric who ran away, so. That's good. And yeah, the next race is Texas, I believe. Or oh, not Texas. That's what uh, Talladega. Talladega. That's the that's the word I meant to say. So we are in the transfer spot right now. We're four points ahead of Austin Wayne Self. So we got to keep our eye on Austin Wayne Self. But well, I do think we can have a good run at Talladega. I have done pretty well at the uh, restricted plate races in this game so far, so I do think we can run well at Talladega. Nice top five. Wouldn't be surprised to see you on the podium next time. Gee, thanks, Todd Gilliland. Not really. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to get a hot seat offer for the Xfinity Series, but um, maybe if we win the championship, somebody will offer us a ride. I don't know what the deal is there. But we, we've won two races this season, so you'd think it would have triggered by now. But 
there's Austin Wayne Self. He's the guy we got to stay ahead of. But he want, he's, he's in the uh, pl- playoff because he won at Daytona. So we really got to keep an eye on him. He might be uh, somebody to keep our eyes out for. But really, um, I think we just need to run our own race. We'll qualify even though I'm pretty sure we'll be last. We have two wins. We won at Eldora and we won at Bristol. And in season one, we won at Pocono. Um, even though that was kind of a cheaty win because the the chat was requesting me to do um, an e- a race on easy mode, and we won that race by a landslide. All right, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna qualify last, but it's worth the shot. Well, I'm glad I took that 10 minute break because it seems like everything's been solved. At, at my old job, so um, as painful as that 10 minute break might have been for you guys, it was worth it to help my old job get things straightened out. Alright, I need to be a lot more steady here. We're never going to get up to speed at this rate. Well, I'm not going to purposely make the big one, guaranteed. Yeah, that was my phone vibrating. Don't need to answer it right now. Well, I'm not purposely going to cause anything, just in case we have any accidental contact that gets us involved because we can't really afford it at this rate. Alright, let's try to set a quick lap here. Maybe not start completely last, even though I'm pretty sure we're going to start last. I don't think I've ever not started last on a, on a restricted plate in this game or in Heat Evolution. I am being silent here. I'm really focusing. It may not look like it, but I really am, even though this is probably a waste of time. Mm-hmm. And it was a waste of time. By two seconds. Wow, that was a waste of time. Where did Austin Wayne Self qualify? I had to answer that text message you guys heard. Of course, he qualified third. Um, so we really got to get up to the front in a hurry here. Uh, we are on control, even though um, the steering wheel is on the uh, things that I want to purchase list right now. But we have to move up to the front in a hurry if we're going to have any chance at this. And honestly, being on the high line, probably not the way to go. Now, I, obviously, since I've qualified last in almost every single restrictor plate I've ever run in this game, I, and I still usually manage to do well, but the problem is there's such short stages, and we have to do well in these stages. We have to start getting stage points. Because Self is up there in the top five, and he's going to get stage points. So we have to start getting some stage points. So we have 
three laps now to figure figure out how to make up some stage points. And that's going to be really hard in my opinion, especially since the high line doesn't really work out too well in this game. Alright, can I get underneath? No. Nope. Come on, alright. I'm going to make a run under the yellow line even though I know that's illegal, but not in this game. Oh, Bell. You've made a mistake. Alright, Chavis, can we get underneath pack up ahead? Nope. So we'll just stay in line here, wait for a mistake. I hope I get eliminated. Legitly, I'm not going to restart. I promise I won't. Alright, pack, you're moving up. I just wish Chavis would be a little more aggressive right now. Alright, there's a lane, Chavis. Go underneath. Go underneath him. Uh. Oh, Chavis. Sorry, man, you're getting dumped. Can I get underneath pack two? Looks like it. Yes, I'm going underneath the yellow line, but uh, this game doesn't have black flags, so... in this game. Let's get Forrester up ahead. Now the pack is starting to spread out a little bit, or at least it was. So let's try to move up a little bit here. We're not going to get in the top 10 on this stage, but we definitely need to for the next stage. Because Self is going to be getting stage points, and we will not be. Oh man, you should have got gone for that Forrester. Well, I gotta watch for my chance here on the tri -oval. That's usually when they start creeping up a little bit. Right there. Making up some positions. There's Rhodes. He's in the chase. But again, we just have to keep our eye out for Self, who I believe is leading the race right now, to be perfectly honest. Come on, uh, we're going to get with Yaley here. We're going to try to two-car tandem with Yaley a little bit to move ourselves up. But this is a lap lap in stage one, so barring a crash, we're not going to get any stage points. But I'm going to have to take a look and see where self finishes, if we so we can kind of calculate where we need to finish. Let's at least get around Smith here, Yaley. Well, you're going to, I'm not. Alright, so where did Sal finish? He finished 7th, so he only got 4 stage points. So, let's see, we were four points ahead of him coming in, correctly, correct? So we are tied now. So we're not going to pit, but we are tied with Self now. So we just need to get some stage points and finish ahead of, ahead of him. Because we were four points ahead going into this. Correct, we were four points ahead. That's, I just want to confirm... Somebody in the chat, can we confirm that I was four points ahead? But Self is the guy who is right behind me. I, I am in chase position right now, but Self is the guy who is outside looking in right now. So that's why I'm keeping an eye on him. But again, I have a restart on the outside, which I'm not thrilled with. Yes, four points ahead, so we are now tied with Self. I don't know where Rhodes fits into this equation. I don't remember how many... Oh, well, there he is. He's ahead of us now. I don't remember how many points ahead he was. But now we're on the inside line. We lost a few spots in order to do so, but uh, that's the cost you get with starting on the outside line in this game. We really got to start working together now with the inside line. Now, remember Austin Hill, he's pissed off with us, so he might 
He might try to do something to us. Yep, he's trying to do something to us right there, that's for sure. Alright, but I'm going to put Cobb in between us as a buffer. That might be the smartest thing I've done all, all year. But we're starting to move up. Remember, we really need to start getting some points. Rhodes is two points ahead, so if we finish far enough ahead of Rhodes, this won't mean anything. But um, we will see. But I'm just going to keep my eyes on self because that's who's behind me, along with Gregson. But Gregson was 20 points behind, so it's not going to be very easy for him to make that up. But I'm just going to keep an eye on self right now. I had an opening on the tri -oval, but I chose not to use it, which is probably a terrible decision. Hello, Colin. How's it going, my friend? Alright, but this inside line is completely held up right now. I can't make any progress. And I'm too scared to go on the outside line because I just am terrible on the outside line. But if Quapo moves up, which he doesn't. But the inside line has more trucks, right? Oh, he does. He moved up. He moved up. He tried to correct him, but he moved up. So there's a spot, maybe two. But the outside line is is dead right now. There's only four, four or five cars in it, so... I'm going to stick to the inside right now and just keep capitalizing on mistakes. Well, there's Gregson, so uh, he's probably going to be eliminated at this rate. Come on, we, we should be getting past these guys. Let's work together here. But I'm just going to keep watching for mistakes, and I'll be taking advantage of mistakes. Well, there's the end of the stage. I wasn't paying attention to that. So we got one point. Self got five points. So Self is now four points ahead of us in the points. So we need to finish four spots ahead of Self. And that's hoping that Self didn't lead a lap at all in this in this race. Which I don't think he has, but... I, I really want to get down to the inside minimize my losses here on the start. But yeah, if I win the race, then that'll, that'll change everything, but at this, how many laps do we, well, we do have about 11 laps to do this, so 11 laps is definitely enough time for me to do this if I can get to the inside line, which I should be able to write, mm, Briscoe move, there we go. There was an opening, but Briscoe just couldn't move fast enough. <laughs> but there's Self right there, so we need to finish four spots, at least four spots ahead. I'd feel much more comfortable if there was more spots in between us. Who would have thought that my big biggest competition in the chase would be Austin Wayne Self right now? Come on, Briscoe. Nemechek made a mistake. You gotta take advantage of that kind of thing. Well, just the bottom line doesn't seem to move very fast, that's for sure. Self is trying to make it pretty wide there. But I don't think it'll work. Again, the goal is just to take advantage of mistakes here on the bottom line, but otherwise we just need to stick to it here. But I am no good on the outside. And we got to stay right behind Briscoe so nobody has a chance to get in between us and come down to the bottom. As you can see, my hood is pretty well damaged here. But I, I've given some people some pretty big nudges, so I guess that's fair.
Come on. Yep, there's a mistake. Just got to not let John Hunter get underneath. But if we win this race, it's not going to matter. Because winning your end. But obviously we got to keep an eye on where self is in order to really feel comfortable just in case if we can't pull off the last lap pass. Check starting to float up a little bit. Yep, we're gonna get underneath him here. But it's just do we have enough time to get underneath him? Looks like we are. We're gonna make this bottom line work. Us and Finger and uh, is that Briscoe up ahead? What's that Cindric? That's Cindric. So even though I'm not thrilled with Austin Cindric right now, um, we gotta work together here. We just gotta be smart. I'll take advantage of mistakes. That's a mistake right there. Me and Endfinger are gonna take advantage of it. But Endfinger got a huge run. I really don't want Cindric to come down and take. Ah, uh, yes, we got it. So it's just gonna be Austin Endfinger. We're gonna. I'm gonna try to two car tandem our way out to a pretty decent lead. That's the goal. And then try to make a move on the last lap because I would much rather be behind people right now. And plus, if there's anybody I want to work with, it would be Grant Enfinger right now. I really don't want to pass him yet. I would much rather take my chances on the last lap pass than I would being in front of somebody. So how many laps do we have left? We still got a ways to go. We'll have six laps to go at the line. Well, seven. Seven laps to go at the line. So I just want a two-car tandem my way up to a pretty decent lead. But if Enfinger keeps wiggling around like that, that's not going to help our, our situation here. Yep, I'm planning on waiting. I am planning on waiting as long as I can. I don't really want to make any movements until maybe the last lap, maybe two laps to go. But unfortunately, our two car tandem didn't quite work. But now we got Nemechek right up behind us. But we're going to get together again and see if we can make our move. But the minute he starts getting squirrely is when we separate, and that's when we lose all of our time. Hi, James. Welcome back. Any reason you're speaking permanently Spanish today? Man, I was so frustrated that with, when I had the crash and burn of YouTube uh, when I was supposed to start today. All of the YouTube support stuff on Twitter, all of YouTube responses were to people from foreign language countries, so all of them were in Spanish or French or, oh crap, I don't want to make this move, thank you need to stop being so squiggly in, in fingers. There's nobody to block on the high side, so just stick with me. If you stick with me and we can get out front, the worst you can finish is second place. But if you, if you don't let us work together, then once I make the move, you have no idea where you're going to finish. So stop going up. I've had enough of foreign languages today, that's for sure. Well, 
Four laps to go. Man, this is an eternity. Why are you way up there, Infinger? I gotta block Nemechek now. I can't go with you. Well, this isn't what I wanted to do, but he kind of forced my hand. Since Nemechek was coming hard and Infinger decided to go up into the second groove, I'm gonna stay on the bottom, so if anybody's gonna get hurt by this, it's gonna be him, hopefully. But it looks like the second line is starting to develop with Chase Briscoe now. So this is obviously not the situation I wanted to be in, but I had to block Nemechek. But it looks like the high line's finally starting to put something together. But let's see if me and Briscoe can work together now. Because Briscoe... Briscoe's a... Not a non-chaser, so obviously if Briscoe finishes anywhere near us, that's a point for him versus a chaser, so I would happily work with Briscoe. See, Infinger, look where you got yourself. Well, you're going to be able to fall in line in third, it looks like, but this is what you get for being stupid. Luckily, I didn't lose too much ground, but... With, with my uh, firmness to the bottom line, I, I can't lose too many spots unless if the high line really gets a run. But I don't think this AI is smart enough to do that quite yet. How many laps? Two to go, two to go. All right, let's just, let's just try to get, oh no. Oh, thank goodness. Let's just try to be smart here. Being smart is the key to all things in life. Well, not all things. Lots of things. Yeah, we'll, we'll put it that way. But I got time to move just right. I got to start prepping now. As you can see, if he does that, and I can get a run on him, then I'm obviously going to be in a prime position to pass. But now we got the bottom line starting to work together again with Infinger. So I, I, don't, I don't have very many chances to make this move. I'm going to get a huge run here. And, and well, no, no, I'm not, because he's going to go up, which is actually probably pretty smart. But if I can get a push from Infinger, I think I can make the pass. Come on, Infinger, get up to my bumper. Well, now Regan Smith's going to join the party. Well, I got to block them both. I, I think I might have just screwed myself over here. I don't think I'm going to have enough time. I, I gotta stay behind Briscoe. That's my only chance if I can get a run in the tri -oval. But I don't think I'm gonna make it. Nope, we're gonna finish second. But unfortunately, we couldn't make the move. Um, the outside line developed and I had the block. I, I felt if I didn't win, I had to finish second. That's where I would feel most confident right now, so. I just didn't have enough time because Briscoe was going all over the place. So, I really didn't have a choice there. This is gonna be a tie, isn't it? This could be bad. Oh, thank goodness Ben Rhodes had a worse day than all of us. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, thank the Lord. If Ben Rhodes didn't have a bad day, we would have been out. Because Austin Wayne South would have had one point on us. Oh. All right, we're on to the next round. That's all we needed right now.
Mm. Ooh. You just danced to the round of six. That scared the crap out of me. Made it. Why is it Jennifer Joe Cobb telling me this? But mm -hmm. anyway, you made it another round. Keep digging. Don't lose focus. There's still a long way to go. Yep. But Martinsville next. So that could be a good race for us. So let's check out the playoff grid. So again, with our playoff points coming in with the two wins and the three stage wins, we are in the position to move on right now. But Martinsville is next. I got to answer a text quick. But all right. So obviously, uh, Crafton is probably going to be way out front regardless. Uh, Bell, same same thing. But I just got to keep my eye on M Finger and Self. But rivals, let's see. I'm, all right, so we have Austin Hill and Tommy Joe Martins, level five, pissed off. Austin Wayne Self at level four, pissed off. Uh, Chase Briscoe, Chavis, Friesen, Quatful, Young, all level three, pissed off. Spencer Boyd, Cindric, Crafton, Gregson, Nemechek, Truex, Yaley at level two, pissed off. Bell, Bell, mm -hmm. Cobb, Coughlin, Amfinger, Gillen, Greenfield, mm -hmm. Nemechek, Peck. Rhodes, Smith, Snyder, Level 1 pissed off, Brown, Chastain, Dowsett, Forrester, and Mills are the only people who are not pissed off at us at all. Alright, so, Martinsville is next. I got it. Of all times for my previous job to start texting me like crazy, it has to be during the five-hour stream. But that's what I get for doing it on Saturday, I guess. All right, off to Martinsville. That could be a pretty good track for us. Short track seems to be pretty good. But Martinsville seems to be a lot tougher in this game for me, for whatever reason. Yeah. Well, I think part of it is because I, I try to bump a lot of people forward for progress and they don't seem to like that very much okay why does a NASCAR game have a song arrested for driving while mad why does a NASCAR game have a song like that that seems like a <laughs> that seems like a weird song to have in this game but let's qualify hopefully we can start uh, pretty decently because it's gonna be hard to make our way from the back I'm just gonna get my timing down again. Let's see where we qualify. I didn't do very well in turn one. Well, last. That was a waste of time. Last by three tenths. Great. Well, this is going to be a challenge. This is going to be a challenge. That is for certain. You would think Martinsville would be a decent track, but based on that qualifying effort, I've got my work cut out for me here. Can't really make any mistakes here if I want to have any shot of going to Homestead. I have no idea how Homestead's going to be. I, I don't even think I've raced that yet in this game. Yeah, this is a really cool um, graphic setting right here with the sun. It's really cool. I like it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got aero damage, crud, crud, that's not good, that is not good, how bad is it, we got engine damage too, seriously, 
I'm not restarting this race. That was my fault entirely. But this is going to make things a whole lot harder now. I just got to hope and pray that somebody else is having a bad day too in the chase. This, this is a bad sign right now. We're still faster than these back markers, but we're not passing them as fast as I'd like. <sighs> Excuse me there. Fortunately, I don't really have much time to mute my microphone for sneezes. Yep, of all tracks to get arrow damage, this is probably the best one. This and Eldora and Bristol. Oh, I washed up the track there. But yeah, this makes my job a lot harder, that's for sure. But if if we are pretty close to the back at the end of the stage, then I'll pit and repair, uh, get some tires, make some adjustments, and hopefully we can have a leg up on the field. I think we'll win the championship. Well, I, I made an entire video on my predictions on my channel, so if you want a more in-depth um, answer to that question, definitely go there. But if I had to choose who I want to win the championship, it would be Kyle Larson. If, but in my video, I chose Kevin Harvick based on numbers. But I think Harvick will have the best chance at Homestead him and Larson will be pretty neck and neck. My personal wish is for Larson or Truex to win, but a Truex just has a terrible record at Homestead. Yeah, if you if you have the ability to like watch this watch this stream and the Xfinity race at the same time, then you'll definitely be golden. But like I said, well, once I finish this chase or the playoff, we'll be doing a bunch of online stuff. So whoever whoever wants to join for that, um, we'll we'll take as many people as possible. That is for certain. I am on PlayStation, so if you also have a PlayStation, then we'll definitely be able to join in on the glory that is online racing in this game. Oh. I'm not going to pit at the end. I'm not going to pit. I think I can survive with this amount of damage, and I, considering how long it took me to get those six spots, I'm going to cherish those. New Blast, thank you for the subscription. I wish I had an alert or something. I really do. But um, I'm, I'm just using the streaming service straight from the Elgato software, and that is extremely limited in what I can do. What is everybody saying no and really about? Oh, not pitting. Oh. Well, at this rate, I feel like those, considering how long it took me to get those positions, I think it's worth it for me to just keep chugging along here. Brian Newman's going to win the championship. That's a bold prediction. I mean, yes, he almost did it a couple of years ago, but uh, he was having a better season than this season. That, then, so. I don't know about that, but it's still a possibility. No, I'm not going on pit road, even though people really wanted me to on that caution. But we're up to 21st, and we're still making progress. So remember, Chami Joe Martins is level five pissed off, so I'm interested to see if he'll do anything to us. Mm, nope, not this time. But we also got Austin Hill, who's level five pissed off with us. Oh, there's Tommy Joe Martins trying to be mad at us. Oh, 
Oh, yep, Tommy Joe Martin's really taking the shots at me now. I need to get as far away from him as possible because he's driving it in deep trying to get, get me. Well, I mess up, and that usually doesn't help the cause. Juan Pablo Montoya, do Lord. Not gonna happen. Well, we got around Tommy Joe Martin, and I don't think we'll have to deal with him. But uh, we do have Austin Hill, who's also level 5, pissed off at us up ahead. So, we got our work cut out for ourselves. But let's see. We'll also, we're going to have Phoenix in this uh, round and Texas. So, I think we can do well at Texas and Phoenix. I mean, obviously, I was hoping we would do well here, but I don't... Oh, crap. Crap. And we get a caution. Nope. Well, I'll be pitting at the end of the stage. Uh... Oh, this game. This game. Yep, this game is a thing. Sorry, Mills, I'm in no mood. CJ Bell um, just went really wide there. So how bad is the damage now? 26% radiator. That could be bad. Our oil temp is starting to get up there. 34 arrow, and I'm sure we have some engine as well. 14, yeah. We're going to come in for repairs at the end of this stage, and we're going to have to make up a ton of time. Oh, man. We're in some deep trouble now. But we're going to have fresh tires. I'm going to make some adjustments. We're going to loosen up the car. Okay. Give us a little more grip. No, that's fine. Alright, so we're going to give us some more grip. We're going to loosen up the car. We're going to repair, obviously. And as long as we don't do anything stupid, hopefully we can move up through the pack relatively quickly. Steady. Now, obviously, we still have a little damage, but it's nothing like what we had. Well, we just got to be really quick and methodical going through this pack here. Now stay on the inside, not screw up any corners, not get on any aprons! <sighs> Literally as I was about to say it. At least I still have 21 laps to fix my mistakes, but that hurt. Is John doing a late stream today? I think he just tweeted out. Yeah, I think he was doing a late stream. I do think he said he was going to try out some more NASCAR Heat 2 on his stream. So if you are not familiar with him, Jonathan Wolf 038 um, go and check him out. He's doing some NASCAR Heat 2 stuff as well. He's a good friend. Uh, he's do, he does a stream a day series on Twitch, so it's the same thing. Jonathan Wolf 038. Go check him out. He's a good friend. He's helped me out a lot through all this. So I I really appreciate it if you check him out, help him get some support. He's definitely one of my inspirations to start this channel. So. Got Wolf with an E. And John, Jonathan. Alright, so we're up to 25th now. We still got a ways to go in order to salvage a decent finish. 
but we also have time. That is an apron that I don't want to touch again. But I've already done it three times in this race. <coughs> yeah, he owns a million channels. Which I think is ridiculous. But it is what it is. He likes, he likes to separate his stuff, so... You gotta respect that. I still think it's ridiculous. It's too much to handle, in my opinion, but... That's his, his way of doing things, so... It is what it is. Well, the Xfinity race just started, so I'm gonna assume a bunch of you are gonna check, out, check that out. Those of you who are left, I appreciate it. If you have the ability to watch this and the Xfinity race at the same time, really, really would appreciate it. But I understand that the Xfinity race is on now, and unfortunately, uh, we're going to cross paths with that. So, well, I will be going for another three hours. Get off the apron. Yay, three hours. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. They're high, get up there. Well, I'm good friends with John. John, he's very picky about who's in his chat. He he's very picky. I remember I, um I was there, wasn't he? Wasn't I? But yeah. He's very picky about that stuff. He likes regulating his chat. So, just gotta respect that. Well, that I'm going to take down. I thought John was from China. I thought we established that he's Chinese. I mean, we're still salvaging a decent finish out of this, which is a miracle considering all the stupidness that's happened. Oh, look, it's our friend Tommy Joe Martin's up ahead. This is going to be interesting. Well, uh, that, James, that's just a running joke with me. Now that, it, it sure looked like from one day his, his eyes were squinting way too much. So I called him Asian and then we established Chinese, but... Alright, I really want to get around Martin, but he's not going to give up the bottom line, even if I do get underneath him. Alright, he's going to run me into the wall. Yeah, that works too. And now he's going to run me off the track, isn't he? Out there. Out there. Well, I do like how realistic the rivalry system is. It's not as, you know, obvious when somebody's going to be pissed off or the retaliation is not as obvious to other people outside of the two people in the situation. So I do appreciate that. Hey look, it's Austin Wayne himself. We've managed to survive long enough to where we can actually see another chaser in, <laughs> in our sights, which is amazing. 
So we're not going to be last after this race after all. Oh, hallelujah. But I'm pretty sure everybody else is in the top ten right now. So we're going to have to do really well at Phoenix and Texas if we're going to salvage a decent, decent uh, finish and be able to move on in the chase. But it's nice to see somebody in the same category as me here. Two laps to go. We can at least get around him and maybe Yaley. But I don't think we'll be able to get anything outside of that. Got into it there, and I almost messed us up on the apron again. But we managed to survive. 15th it is. I'll take it. I will take it. After the horrible day that we had, 15th is a good finish in my mind. So let's see where we are in the standing, see what kind of things we have to recover from. So we're four points out right now. So Grant M. Finger is the guy we need to take a look at. Crafton has advanced, he won the race, looks like Bell's going to be in good shape. But it's in Finger that we need to watch now. So let's head back to the menu. I'm sure some more people are going to be pissed off. Maybe we'll get another loving message from Austin Sindrick. That'd be hilarious. But I'm pretty sure we're going to get... Yeah, I know. We missed the top 15 in one of the races. All right, Ben Rhodes. Let's see what he has to say. What the heck is going on out there? Your driving is absolute garbage. If NASCAR doesn't suspend you, somebody's going to teach you a lesson. Wow. Interesting. That was terrible acting. In my opinion, at least. Well, there's only three races left in the season, so... Oh, uh, well, we have, we're going to go for the big one. Um, I'm sure some more people are level f four pissed off now. Still got Hill and Martins at level five. Uh, Chavis, Quattful, Self, Young at level four. Boyd, Briscoe, Friesen, Yaley, level three, and then so on and so forth. So next race it is... I guess it wasn't that bad. Oh, that's backwards. I guess it wasn't that bad. It's better than the often Cindric ones, that's for sure. Now, obviously, they had to make this before the whole Canadian Tire incident, but I just find it absolutely hilarious when he tells me about my bad driving. But, Texas, we need to finish good here. We've been pretty good a mile and a half, and Texas is another mile and a half, so. Let's see if we can qualify well-ish. Maybe not last. But I enjoy Texas. I really like the reconfigured turns one and two. Really helps out. Um, gives you a lot more room for passing, in my opinion. Let's see if we can not qualify last and give ourselves a leg up on where we usually are. We're pretty much flat out here. I had to lift off just a tiny bit, but we are pretty much flat out right now. Which is a good sign because usually when I flat out it means we're gonna have a good day. Alright, 20th, I'll take it. 
we got this race. We still got two races to go. So it'll be about another half hour, maybe an hour. No requests today. We are going to do some online stuff once I finish the career mode. Um, but if online doesn't go well, then maybe. Um, it really depends on how many people show up for online. Oh crap, Tommy Joe Martins. That's a bad sign. But the plan is to do this, then do some... Oh, crap. Thank the Lord that there is a caution for that. Um, just to be safe, I'm going to repair, uh, tape up the car a little bit more, loosen up just the hair. Just to be safe. But yeah, the plan is to do online racing after this. And then we can, if online racing goes terribly, which wouldn't surprise me, then we can take a look at maybe doing some requests. Alright, let's get low, let's get low, let's get, get, get low, there we go. Well, that actually didn't help me out too much, but it will in this corner. I think we should be able to move up through the pack pretty easily in my mind. Uh, are we going to get stage points? Probably not. But we just need to start moving our way up, set ourselves up for a good finish in stage two, and a good finish overall. We are definitely faster than the majority of this field right now. Oh, uh, Austin Hill is going to run us off the track. That's what you get. Because he was trying to run me off the track, and I did not want to go off the track, so I turned hard right, and that's what you're going to get. If that hadn't happened, we might have actually had a chance at a top ten, but I don't think we're going to be able to get it now. So I know some of you are probably watching the Xfinity race. I'm just going to warn you, I'm not, because I'm obviously live streaming right now. So I would appreciate no spoilers from the Xfinity race. Um, I, I am hoping that I get the stream done before the end of the race. But I have my doubts, especially after YouTube crashed and burned on me at 1 o'clock. I had to start at 2 o'clock. Probably not going to catch the end of the race. But... It is what it is. Just avoid spoilers for me. We're not going to get in the top ten, but at least we're going to set ourselves up for a decent stage two here. Welcome back, Colin Red. Alright, we just hit the two hour mark. Three hours to go, plus ten minutes to make up for that little uh, break that I had to take. I really need to get an official BRB screen. Whatever, whatever it was that, that YouTube tried to do wasn't working, obviously. Let's try to split these guys here. Not the position I really want to be in, but I should be able to make it work. Oh crap, are we going to go for a while? Thank you, Friesen, for not being stupid. I really appreciate it when people aren't stupid. Oh 
Crafton's not having a hot day, but he he had such a lead because of playoff points, and he actually won he actually won the, the last race, so he he'll be fine. But it's interesting to see him this far back. All right, we're gonna go on the super high side because we're just so much faster than everybody right now. But I had to let off just a hair, so we'll try to use the low line here. At least get around Smith and maybe Rhodes. How many laps do we have left in the stage? Let's see if we can try to get a stage win. I definitely think it's possible. But we're going to have to be on our A game on the rest of these last four laps. So we're going to go on high side again. Try to get the draft and do the high side in three and four again. All right, Dale, thanks for coming. Appreciate it. All right, high side's not working as well as I wanted it to. Which is sad. Because it was working extremely well, but now... Oh, Trafton! Oh, no, he's going to spin. He's going to spin. He saved it, but he screwed both of us over. Now, was that me not giving him enough room? But I sure felt like I gave him enough room there. Come on, Joe, let's go. I want stage points. That just made it a lot harder. Crafton! Crap. I just spun out teammates there. Oh, man. That could be bad. Oh, only four seconds of repair, so I'm not going to pit. I can't afford it right now. Alright, my fault. Fair enough. Yep, the rule was the uh, five years or older, or five years experience or more can't race in the last eight races and I actually like that rule at least that's for this year next year next year those guys won't be able to race in the last eight races at all which I think is good How much damage do we have out of that? No engine damage. We have 13% arrow and no radiator. So um, it's not as bad as I thought. Definitely not worth the pit stop. So. But let's see if we can make our way up front. That took us out of contention for some stage points, unfortunately frustrating but it is what it is we got 18 laps to try to move our way through the front which is not going to be super easy right now because the high line is no longer working for us well maybe I spoke too soon if I stay right below this white line I think I'll be fine Hey, that rhymed. Rhymed with it, rhyming with Aaron. Yeah, I spoke too soon. Crafton, you screwed me over enough times in this race, so I am not going to be afraid to give you a bumper. And maybe I'll actually help you, actually. Yeah, I helped him. Great. But it might help me get on the... Oh, nope. Nope. Well, Kyle Busch said he's going to stop racing Xfinity once he hits 100. So, that's not too far away. Maybe another season or two, depending on how many races he races. But 
we're just in a holding pattern here. This arrow, uh, this arrow damage might actually be making a difference right now, which is really unfortunate. But I just could not afford to lose all that track position. And this outside line is just not working as well as I need it to. And I can't get underneath them without bumping them. I should be able to get underneath him here, but this is as bad as Taldega was. I have to wait for, for somebody to make a mistake. Take advantage of it. It just slows my progress down so much. And I have not seen Grant, Grant Enfinger at all. So that means he's gonna, gotta be up front. So we are in a definitely rough situation. Now John Hernanemacek, he was the one in front of Endfinger, but he still had about 12 points on us, and he has has to have gotten stage points in this race. Oh, Let's see if there's a red line in the grass. Alright, if I'm not doing anything important, I'll look. Red line and grass. Nope, all I see is tire marks from my numerous wrecks today. Oh, entering turn one, I guess I'll look again. Snyder. I shouldn't have given you that bump. Nope. Not for me. At least not that I can see. I mean, obviously I'm trying to focus on the race here. line entering turn one at Texas and Kentucky. Alright, well that's interesting. Alright, this is getting ridiculous. I have not been able to make any progress and this is super frustrating right now. Alright, I think if I can get in the crafters draft we can make a run on Snyder in the next corner. But I'm gonna have to be perfect. And this is not perfect. This is not where I want to be. Welcome back, Daniel. Oh, this is just a ridiculous holding pattern right now, and it's super frustrating. I need draft, but it's not enough. Oh my lord, this is annoying. If I didn't have this arrow, to oh, I think I finally got underneath him. If I drive it in deep into turn one, I might be able to... Yes! Yes, I can make a pass for 11th. And maybe even 10th because I got such a good run. We're going to go three wide. That's probably an ill-advised move. So I'm going to just stick on the bottom, get around roads. Unfortunately, we're not going to get much higher than 8th. But, well, how many laps do we have left? Seven laps? Yeah, we're not going to get much higher than eighth, but that's still a decent finish. Oh, no, April, April! And here we are again. Oh. This game... game. 
every time I make progress. Every time. That pit now, I'm gonna finish last, and I can't afford last. Well, that's not really an option. Alright David, thanks for hanging out with us. We're still gonna be going for another three hours, so wouldn't surprise me if I'm still on by that time. I might need a nap. Napping simulator 2018. Well I don't think we're gonna be able to get much more than twelve right now, which is really frustrating. We need a caution, but that's probably not going to happen in my mind. Three laps to go. Yeah, without a caution, we're not going to make up any ground. That's super frustrating. But that's racing. I don't think we're going to make it to the Final Four unless we get a win at Phoenix. So, yeah, so we're going to have to go out and win Phoenix if we're going to have any shot at this, unfortunately. Because it's us and Austin Wayne self who have been pretty terrible in this round. White flag is out. We just need to maintain our position right now. Coughlin is catching us, but as long as we run our line, I think we'll be fine. There's more rhyming. Oh, we got a collision up ahead. What's going on here? Christopher Bell. Christopher Bell is having an issue. Well, that's the position. And he's going to lose more positions. Now, if that ha happened a couple laps earlier... That might have been really beneficial, but he's only going to lose maybe five spots. So we finished 11th. Thanks to Christopher Bell uh, derping out in the last lap. Yeah, he only lost two spots. Uh, obviously he lost more than that, but two spots behind us. So that's not going to help us at all. Not that bad, yes, but, um, yeah. We need a miracle at Phoenix in order to make it at this rate, because Infinger won the race. So we have 20 points that we need to gain. So unless if we qualify really well, and start running really well in these stages, get some stage points. It's not out of a question, but it's going to be hard. Uh, hashtag, you are going down next race. All right. Well, that's an excellent question, my friend. I can't wait to get to the Xfinity series at this rate. Oh, that probably means he's level. Oh, my Lord in heaven. We have some issues going on now. Wendell Chavis is level 5. Uh, Austin Hill is level 5. Travis Quapful is level 5. Tommy Joe Martins is level 5. Austin Wayne Self is level 5. 
Dear Lord, that that's going to cause some issues. Friesen, Yaley, Young are level four. Boyd, Briscoe, Cobb, Crafton, Nemechek, level three. Bell, Sindrick, Kaufman, Gillen, Gregson, Greenfield, Peck, Snyder, Truex, level two. Bell, Chastain, Gazette, and Finger, Forrester, Mills, Nemechek, Rhodes, Smith, level one. And we only have one person left who isn't pissed off at us at all, and that is Brandon Brown who doesn't even run all the races. Oh, that's unfortunate. And the fact is, we're going to be in this series next year, too. But, all right, we know what the task is. we got to qualify well, we got to have a good race, or we have to win the race. That is the task at hand, if we want to make the Final Four. Now, I have no idea what Homestead's going to be like. Like I said, I haven't run that series, that uh, track yet in this series. So I have no idea what that's going to be like, but keep keep our minds open here. We just got to get through this race. Got to either win or have some really good stage results and be better than John Hunter Nemechek. But let's try... Yeah, I, I definitely think we deserve a five-star ride next year, but I'm frustrated by the fact that the hot seat hasn't triggered yet. Because in, in some of my other off-screen playthroughs on different accounts, it has triggered well into this season. So I'm a little frustrated by that. But it is what it is. Oh, I messed up. Crap. Well, this qualifying's probably not going to go well. But yeah, I think we definitely deserve a better ride next year. And then we'll definitely get some hot seat offers next year, I'm pretty sure. And we qualify 22nd, better than last. We gotta have a great start to the race. We can't afford to not finish in the top ten. But we also have a million people mad at us now, so we gotta be really careful. I really hope that that stuff resets after each year, or at least it eases off after after the year. But otherwise, we might have some serious issues. Now, Shavis is one of those people who's really mad at us, so I'd really like to drive it in deep here and not... Oh, but there's two more people who are really mad at us, and now Gillen's probably mad at us. Well, I don't have any time to worry about people being mad because I need to get in the top ten, and I need good finishes in each stage. It resets after every season? All right, well, that... That helps my cause, um, if that is true. I, I don't know. I haven't gotten this far in any of my playthroughs yet. But we are already around Nemechek. If he stays in that position, uh, he's not going to get any stage points. And if we finish really well in all the stages, we should be in... Excellent condition. Okay, James reports that it lowers by two each season. So level five pissed off would be a level three pissed off next season. Okay. I can take that. All right, let's not spin out. Let's try to make our way to the front. We've got a bit of a gap between us and Cindric right now, so we really need to keep our eye on the prize. How many laps do we have left? We still got four laps to uh, make our way up to the front here. But I do see that it's going to start getting harder here. 
especially since my dive bomb method probably won't continue to work very well at this point in time. Turn one, I just can't gauge right. I don't break enough, and that seems to really mess me up. We were almost there, but I just didn't break enough. wasn't bad. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. We're up to 520. All right. 480 to go for 1,000. <laughs> Use the dog leg and cut it. All right, I'll try. I've been really scared, too, because of how ridiculously slippery the apron is. Well, not slippery. Um, just, well, I guess you could call it slippery. I've, I've just been scared to do it, but I will definitely try it here. See if that helps at all. Ah, it did help a little bit. We'll do it a couple more laps and see if it, uh, see how much of a difference it really makes. Yeah, actually, it did help a lot. So, all right, see you, Colin Rad. I'm sure we'll talk again tonight at John's stream if I, I'm still alive and awake by then. I mean, it's not bad. We don't lose time, that's for sure. All right, this is the last lap, but I'm not gonna be able to do it. At least we get two points, I'll take it. I'll take it, it's better than nothing. It's progress. Welcome back, Daniel. And Hunter, uh, John Hunter Nemechek didn't get anything, so that's where we need to be. We've gained two points, we're now only 18 points behind him. So we need to have another decent finish in this stage and then obviously have a really good finish at the end of the race. And now we can kind of utilize our dive bomb tactic. Luckily all the people who are level 5 pissed off with us are in the back of the pack right now. So that's obviously a plus right now. All clear. Right, here we go, Dive Bomb City. Alright, we covered. We recovered. Obviously, I don't think we're faster than these guys, but we just gotta be careful here. Yeah, I definitely do think that cutoff helps. So I am going to start to use that a little bit more. Thank you, uh, who was that that recommended? I'll look on the straightaway. Thank you to Harsh Diet, Richard Van Ram, whatever. Thank you. I'm sorry, I just absolutely murdered your name. But I appreciate it. And as I tell, tell you my appreciation, I almost forgot to do it. Now, obviously, we're not as fast as these guys, which is understandable. We're only in a four-style truck. But, um, obviously, we need to be running this well if we're going to have any chance at making it into Homestead. And then we have to, obviously, run really well at Homestead. Which is definitely a question mark right now. And I forgot to do the card off. It's just not ingrained into my nature yet. I'll get used to it, though. And as I was looking over at Chad, I messed up that corner. And down to fifth. How many laps to go on this stage? All right. Obviously, fifth is better than nothing, but I would, fourth is better than fifth. I, oh, crap. All right. 
He saved it, we saved it, we move on. Nothing ever happened. You hate buffer so much? Uh, is it buffering for you? Or, or am I having some lag? Or is it on your end? I, I haven't, the steam seems to be running smoothly for me. James, actor, Kirk, sorry, I just mu absolutely murdered that. Uh, thank you so much. Obviously, not something I expected so soon, but I really appreciate all the support. Running smooth here. Yeah, it was buffering, okay. Yeah, it seems to be running smooth on my monitor, so... Um, I'm not gonna make any adjustments yet. But, it looks like, barring incident, we're going to finish fourth in this stage, which is going to really help us in our quest to be ahead of John Hunter Nemechek at the end of this race. One lap to go. I mean, those three are really fighting for it, so if, if they get together, I'll be ready to pounce. Alright, Daniel, it really looks like it's on your end, my friend. Uh, maybe the internet's struggling a little bit because I am not having any issues over here. I'm watching the stream on my computer. I'm not having any issues, so I apologize that you're having issues, but it does seem like it's going to be on your end more than mine. I know, I do keep forgetting that. Um, I just want to make sure this is on. Alright, we're starting fourth. Oh, I forgot to... Well, we got... Let's see, ten, nine, eight, seven points there. We got two points in the last round, so now we're only 11 points behind. And so we just need to finish 11 spots ahead of him. It would help if we maybe can lead a lap here, but I don't think this is going to be possible since I'm starting on the high side. I need to get down low ASAP. I really would like to lead a lap. That would be super beneficial to my cause right now. Oh, we got a raid going on. Sweet. Welcome to all those raiders. Alright, I'm just driving in super deep to see if I have a chance of maybe getting around these guys so I can lead a lap. But that's going to really help the cause because I don't think I'm going to be able to finish 11 places ahead of Nemechek. It's going to be really close, and I just, every point counts right now. Clan the Hawks Raid, welcome to all of you. Uh, th this car was a pretty random experiment here, obviously. I don't have any purpose behind the colors behind this. But, um, I am a... University of Michigan fan. So maybe I should do co those colors, maize and blue, next race. Alright. I think if I do that shortcut, I might have a chance to lead a lap here. But I can't really dive bomb it in turn one because of that barrier right there. But if I do the shortcut and I dive bomb it into turn three, I 
think I might have a chance here. All right, we got underneath Bell, and we're bumping Crafton. Not quite, not quite. But I think I can have a good run at it in turn three. Oh, yes. We're underneath. Obviously, if we can win this race, I mean, screw points. But the fact that um, we definitely need points more than anything, um, I definitely need to lead a lap here. And I think I can definitely do that next lap. Thank you, uh, Mr. Clutch Gaming, for the new sub. Oh, I didn't quite do the full cutoff there. This is obviously the 500 subscriber special. Alright. I died bomb, but he's going to get underneath me again. And I'm not going to lead this lap. And we have the outside line, but we're going to let off a little bit and get underneath. If I can block him off, use the shortcut, and then have a relatively decent turn three, I can definitely lead this lap. Ten hour stream? No. <laughs> I will find something special to do. All right, we led that lap. But now, I mean, we're eight laps away from maybe a win here. We didn't think that that was possible. I was just trying to lead a lap, but we might have a chance at this win. Just need clean laps, you're perfectly right. I just got to be careful when I come out of this shortcut not to completely LePage craft him because he'll he, he'll still be probably next to me when I come out of that shortcut. So I really got to be careful not to LePage him. But if we run clean laps here, six laps to go, I think we might have a legit shot at this. Bell got around crafting, so now it's Bell we got to worry about. Both of those guys are pretty much locked into the next round already. I, however, pretty much need this win. I have no idea where John Hunter Nemechek is right now. So I just got to win. That's the wall. That's not going to help. Block. Alright, that didn't hurt us too much. It really could have, but it didn't. Bell's got a run on us. We'll probably have a chance at, in uh, turn three here if I mess it up. I mean, I, I was just trying to lead a lap here, and I did not think the win would be possible because we've been struggling behind these cars. But now that we got the lead and we have the ability to block, definitely think we might have a legit shot at this. Yep, winning your end, that's the goal right now. Turn three is definitely my best turn, so we really got to focus on hitting the accelerator at the right point, not getting into the wall. Got three laps to go. My heart's pounding, guys. Oh, I messed up a little bit. Luckily, we had enough of a gap. Shortcut. And into a really good turn. Crafton's fighting, fighting with Bell, so that could also help the situation. Two laps to go. That wasn't a terrible turn. They're going to get the run on us like they usually do. Now I was just gotta keep nailing turn three because this is where 
a difference is going to be made. As we get a huge run in, we don't get the greatest run off. That's because I dive it in a lot, but white flag is out, sponsored by Credit One Bank and all there have you. Messed up a little bit there. As long as I don't mess up turn three here. Alrighty, we are moving on to the round of four, guys. Championship round. We win at Phoenix. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's huge. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. We needed that. I'm interested to see where we were with the points. If we would have made it in on points if we had finished second. I'm interested to see what that situation would have been like. Let's see. Hunter and Emichuk. So we would have been in. We would have been in. It would have uh, by three points. Well, two points. Um, so, yeah, two points, right? Something like that. So it would have been really close. But off to victory lane. We are moving on. That was a clutch win. I think I think um, when Mr. Clutch Gaming showed up, that really <laughs> helped help the situation here. All right, that's huge. We are moving on to Homestead. Moving on to Homestead. Your advance to the championship round. I was ready for it that time. That's it. You're a championship round truck driver. Oh, man. So let's check out the standings just so we can get a grip of who we have to be ahead of. It's a pretty legit Final Four. We've got Christopher Bell, Matt Craft, and Grant Enfinger, and us. So, we're going to have to be really good, or especially Bell and Crafton. Especially Bell and Crafton. we got to be ahead of those guys and those guys are good have a good day regardless so we really need to have a good race there so uh, let's see if any more people are super pissed off at us oh yeah uh, self is completely mad or not self uh Yale is completely mad at us now we got a lot of people mad at us but uh next race homestead miami we've been pretty decent on mile and a half um, we haven't won any yet, but we've been pretty decent as long as we can avoid uh, stupid damage on the apron. Yeah, I got a lot of people pissed off at me. I can't wait for this season to end, and I can't wait for me to move on to the Xfinity Series whenever that's going to happen. And that one guy doesn't even race in this in this series, actually. Brandon Brown, he he's also in the Xfinity Series in this game so he doesn't race he would be the 30 second driver if I didn't run a custom truck so he's not even so he's not even racing alright a good qualifying effort is going to go a long ways here Now, Homestead, I've seen mixed mixed signals with Homestead in these games on whether I should really run the high line or run the low line. But I have not, like I said, I have not drove, driven this track in a truck yet, so I don't really know. But we're just going to kind of stick with the high line right now. Oh, 
Well, immediately as I say that, I don't, so. Let's see if we can get a relatively decent starting spot. Obviously, qualifying is a big struggle in this game. Oh, that was about as close to the wall as you can get. I don't think we're going to get a decent qualifying. 29th. It's better than 32nd, but uh, at least we're starting on the inside. I can I can deal with that. Alrighty. Here we are. Stage points shouldn't matter. I sure hope that they don't. Since, since everybody's running up high, I'm going to take advantage of this low line while I can make it work. So if I can take advantage of this low line, I can make a ton of passes at one time. But now Austin Hill is being a pain, which he has been all season. Definitely haven't made this easy on ourselves by being pissed, uh, being mad at every single driver in the field. But there's only five of them or six of them who would actually retaliate at this point in time. Therefore, wide at Homestead. That's a terrible idea. Ryan Briscoe, or not Ryan Briscoe, Chase Briscoe. Dear Lord. Um, I'm going into IndyCar world now. So, I think we can start running up front, but it's just a matter of if we can run with the leaders. I remember, I, I appreciate no spoilers on the Xfinity. I know that's a pretty big statement, but um, I would appreciate no spoilers because I'm obviously live streaming and not watching it. So... My internet could hold that up, that would be amazing, but I don't have enough screens here to do that, unfortunately. That's an apron! Alright, we covered. We recovered. Oh, that could have been bad. kind of stalling out here. We still need to make up a ton of spots if we're going to have any chance at this. I haven't even seen any of the four guys, we're, three guys we're running with. I really need to start making up some spots quickly here. This inside line is probably not going to help too much longer. It really helped at the beginning when everybody was packed together, but I think I start, need to start running the higher line. I kind of had to use Snyder as a barrier there, but it worked. Now, I hope this game is smart enough to realize in the championship forest the final finish that matters and they don't accumulate stage points, but... Um, yeah, we better not have that issue, because if we do, I'm going to have some serious issues. Because A, I'm probably not going to get very many stage points, and B... That's just something that's pretty self-explanatory. I know this playoff system is confusing a ton of people, but, I mean, that's a pretty self-explanatory thing. Final Four, whoever is in front, wins. Of the, of the four drivers. So we're at least going to get a stage point, just in case if 
they're stupid enough to accumulate stage points. Because I believe we can get around Yaley here. Oh, we got into Yaley a little harder than I wanted to. I had planned on using him as a buffer, but that was a little harder than I intended. One lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank, even though Credit One Bank doesn't sponsor stages. But we should be able to at least get a stage point. Just in case if uh, stupidity happened. But I do see Crafton and Enfinger right there. I, I have a pretty good feeling that Christopher Bell's leading right now. So I think he's going to be the guy I have to keep an eye on. But we'll just check. So Crafton, Enfinger, and Bell are second, third, and fourth right now. So we obviously need to have a really good restart here. But of course we're on the outside line, so that's probably not going to help the situation. Because we made a ton of ground. We made up a ton of ground on the inside line. By itself, he's pissed off at us, so that's understandable. But actually, him being pissed off at us helped us. Oh, no, Smith is going to block. Smith is going to block, but we're still going to be inside of everybody. But Smith's going to have an even bigger advantage. Oh, we're getting a nudge. I actually appreciate that, uh, Yaley. But we got to make up positions while everybody's bunched up together here. Because I see, I see everybody now. They're literally three wide right now. Crafting in finger and bell. So we we gotta make up time. And time we have made up. We are right here. All four of us are right here. Welcome back, Cody. All right, we are all right here. John Harmony Machek doesn't matter right now. We eliminated him by winning the last race. I know, I, I'm feeling confident right now. As long as this line keeps working and we have a decent restart at, after stage two finishes and we don't do stupid things like that, uh, I think we're going to be in really good shape. But Crafton's starting to pull away a little bit, so we really got to keep an eye on that. But if they, if Crafton gets ahead of Nemechek, we might be in some trouble. Really trying to let off as little as possible. Well, Crafton got a little loose there. We're making up some time. Because we do have to let off just a tad. But I'm really trying to minimize the amount of time I'm off the gas. At this rate, they might wreck each other. They're being really aggressive with each other. But again, this is just stage two. We still got a whole stage three to deal with right now. So. But as long as they're fighting, they're not going to start pulling away from me. But I am not really making up any time either. So I'm really going to have to be aggressive on the stage two. Uh, three start because otherwise it's going to be a little little hard in my opinion especially without a draft draft is really going to be the key because we're definitely staying ahead of bell and we're staying ahead of M finger but it's crafting that's really going to uh, make this worth it yeah, starting stage three on the inside is going to help. That's actually a good point. But Bell's starting to catch up now, so uh, we need to keep an eye on him. And not hit the apron. I almost hit the apron there. 
and unfortunately that messed me up enough. But again, the key is probably going to be starting stage three on the inside line. But um, the fact that I didn't hit the apron there is probably going to help me out in the long run right now. So if we can finish fifth, I'm fine with that. If we can finish third, I'm fine with that. Because as long as we can start on the inside on the restart, I think we're going to be golden. Oh yeah, I forgot he's mad at me. I forgot. Yeah, he's really mad at me. Well, we still got one more lap, but it does look like we're going to have to settle for a sixth place stage finish right now. Well, actually, no. Looks like us and Self might get around Bell right now. So I'm going to actually help Self here. Now, if I can get a turn three and four, we could possibly start on the inside line here, which is the goal right now, since the stage point shouldn't matter. Oh, I messed up just a tad, but it looks like we're going to stay ahead of him. All right, finish fifth in stage two. Again, it shouldn't matter, but I'm, I wouldn't be surprising if they screwed that up. But we're not going to pit. We're going to start on the inside line. We're going to have to get a really good jump here because Crafton's on the point right now and he's definitely the fastest one here. But we really got to get a good restart here. Get inside. Which we do. But we're actually going to lose time a little bit since we're not up to speed yet. So we did not get as good of a restart as I was hoping. We actually got a terrible restart. But... We just need to drive our own race. We still got everybody within sights right now. We're in second place right now as far as the standings go. We just got to get to Crafton. And we got a huge run there. I'm going to use two exit. Oh, shoot. I got too aggressive. We've got damage. We have to pit. We're going to be last. I got too aggressive. I had the lead in sights. I drove it in too deep. And now we're in last. But we have fresh tires. I mean, we're mostly repaired. May not look like it, but we are mostly repaired. And if we can have a decent run, and maybe get another caution on our side, we have a shot at this. Yeah, we got rammed into it from behind, that's for sure. But the problem with start being back here now is we have all these people who are pissed off at us right here with us. Oh, Jennifer Jo Cobb just got a little squirrely there. But we only got seven laps to go here. We're not going to do it, guys. That's super disappointing. This reminds me so much of uh, the end of NASCAR Heat Evolution right now. My playthrough of that. Really frustrating. Unless if we can get a caution, we're, we're going to be, we're done for. I'm driving as hard as I can right now. But I'm not going to purposely cause a caution. I'm not going to be that guy. 
because I, I did this to myself. I drove it in way too deep. I did this all to myself. But let's at least try to finish maybe third in the championship, just not last in the championship. Tommy Joe Martins, I'm really not in the mood for your rivalry right now. And we got J.J. Ailey, who's also pissed off at us. Well, I need a caution in order to make this competitive right now. Crafton's still in second right now. Caution could be the only way that I can do this without a big wreck that takes out all three of the championship contenders. I should have loosened the truck up a little bit. That might have actually helped, but we need a caution big time. I do see end finger, so maybe we can at least salvage a third place finish in this championship. Three laps to go. Well, they're four wide right now, so um, I hate to say this, but I'm rooting for a crash right now. Because we're not going to be able to do anything unless if we get a caution. And even then, it's going to be a challenge. Two laps to go. I'm not going to try to cause a caution, but if it happens accidentally, not going to, not going to say it. Not going to say anything. White flag's gonna be out this time by, but we, we've established that that doesn't mean that we're not gonna get a caution. Wow. All right, we got a three wide situation here. Can we at least salvage a top 10 to end the season? Well, it looks like Matt Crafton's going to win this championship, at least from my observations. We finish 11th. We had a shot, and I blew it. I blew it. Oh, that's frustrating. That's really frustrating. Am I going to do silly season? Yes, I will. Shouldn't be much to it, in my opinion, since we haven't gotten any hot seat offers for the Xfinity. And then we're going to head off to some online races. We finish fourth in, in this championship. Matt Crafton wins 2017 Camping World Truck Series Championship. Good for him. Well, technically, this might be the 2018 season. Who knows? Yes, I will do all the contractual obligations now, and then we will go on to online racing. Did not complete the incentive contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now that the season is over, it's time to look at your contracts and sign for your team for next year. So, yep, nothing for the Xfinity Series, but we let's see what options we have for the Truck Series. I really hope... Okay, right, we got Brad Keselowski Racing. That's a five-star team. But let's see what else we got. I'm only looking for five stars right now. All right, Kyle Busch Motorsports. Could run any of the four Kyle Busch Motorsports cars. Could run any of the Nemco Motorsports. That's five stars as well. And we got Thor Sport as well. 
So we got all of the five-star teams interested in us right now. So, I am not going to run another custom car. So we could run any of the Thor Sport cars, any of the Kyle Busch cars. Let me look at the Kyle Busch cars first. We could run the 46. I actually like the 46 car. We're going to run the 46 car for Kyle Busch Motorsports. We're going to replace Todd Gilliland. Oh, we got a message from Ben Rhodes. Let's see what this is about. Congrats on the new team. I'm super happy for you. Well, that's surprising considering how pissed off you were at me. But, uh, but yeah, so we're going to head into the 46 car. Uh, I am going to try to throw some more ads in there. Um, I apologize if you're not a huge fan of ads, but... I have to do it in order to start making money. I should have done more earlier. I did I did one while I was uh, trying to rectify that situation earlier. But let's start season two. Yep, you see Hot Seat for Xfinity is already available for us. So um, we're going we're gonna to go to the top qualifying one already. And we're going to head to Daytona. Now, uh, in my brief experience with this... I have noticed that once I get to a five-star team, things start becoming really easy. And I'm not thrilled about that, which is why I hope uh, the Xfinity Hot Seat, seat offers will start um, making things a little more interesting. But we still got an hour and a half left to fill. Well, let's qualify even though I'm pretty sure we won't get anything. So reasons I chose this truck. A. Kyle Busch Motorsports. B. I like the fact that it has a dog on it. And C. Um, Gilliland wasn't really a competitive driver. I didn't want to take a competitive driver out of the field. That would just feel like cheating to me. Taking like Christopher Bell out of the field or Matt Crafton. Makes it less fun in my book. hot seat yeah I'll do hot seat whenever I get a chance um, it's not really up to me when it happens in the season but when it happens I'll do it definitely I don't know if this truck is going to get us a better qualifying spot or not but um, we'll see But I feel, I feel better at that you guys can't mock me for how ugly my truck looks now. Now, because I'm not using a custom truck. Because that was... I will admit, I am not an artist. I can't design things or anything like that. So, I'm not very skilled in that department. See, that's lap one right there. That actually seems like a pretty decent lap in my mind. But let's see if we can improve at all. This actually might help. This, might, this view might actually help in qualifying, believe it or not. I'm not a big fan of the cockpit view I, at all. But I do think this might help with, uh, you know, kind of seeing where the yellow line is. Well, maybe not. Well, 
Yep, last. Shocking. Five three tenths, yep. Alrighty. Uh, let's get out of that view. Now we're cut out for ourselves again, but that's par for the course. I think it's just going to be staying on the inside line, taking advantage of holes. Uh, they seem to create a lot more holes at Daytona than they do at Talladega. Uh, well, Brandon Brown took up that hole, unfortunately. So there's the one guy who's not mad at me. Brandon Brown. Oh, we haven't checked the library system to see if people are, you know, slightly less mad at me now or, or what the deal is there. So we'll have to check that after this race. I think it's going to be a lot easier for me to move through the field here than at Talladega because they seem to want to levitate. A, what what was that? I didn't have my mirror on, so I wasn't paying attention. But they seem to levitate off of the bottom line here on the straightaways. So that definitely gives me more chance to make some moves. The only reason I made that move is because I felt like I could get back down to the bottom. And I could. So try to use the high line here to get around Cobb. Might be an ill-advised move, and it kind of is. I can get around Hill, and the fact that Hill didn't try to wreck me right there definitely means he's not completely pissed off at us anymore, which is excellent. Alright, can I get to the bottom? Yes, I can. Beautiful. Alright, that kind of cut down and cut off my momentum there. Wasn't thrilled about that. Three wide situation here. Now it's a four wide situation. As long as I'm on the bottom, I'm fine. Alright. Young, what? Okay, never mind. I was gonna say that's two car ten on my way up to the front, but it looks like Cody Cough is gonna take that opportunity. They leave the bottom line open, so we're going to take advantage. Hey, that was the end of the stage. Wasn't even paying attention. We got a stage point. That helps. Not going to pit. Uh, unfortunately, that means we're going to start on the outside, but hopefully Travis Quattle can be a little slow, maybe be a roadblock to the inside lane there. Because Gregson's already trying to push me instead of Quaffle, and we are already making it three wide before the start-finish line. With the NASCAR heat patented, uh, three, four wide starts that really should be rectified. I don't like being on the outside, if you haven't noticed. But Quattro is slow, so if I can get past him, then I think we'll be in good shape. But I'm not thrilled being on the high side right now. The fact that I haven't lost more positions is actually a miracle. 
I'm trying to work with self here. Maybe make a move. We can make this work. I feel so much better about myself. But it looks like I'm going to have the inside line. Go go underneath John Hamanimachek. Go work with Briscoe. Unfortunately, Briscoe's kind of acting as a roadblock right now. I think he's got trees in up ahead, he's probably a slower car. Come on, trees, and there we go. So we're splitting Briscoe three wide here. Stuart Friesen and Ben Rhodes are up front. We got underneath Friesen. Us and Rhodes are going to work together. I would like to win a stage. That would really help us in the long run with the championship. Thank you to those of you who stuck around. I know that online race kind of sucked half the crowd out here. But I appreciate those of you who are sticking around. I'm going to end up uh, adjusting the title a little bit. Just so people know that I'm doing career mode. Because I think that draws a lot of people in here. So after this race, I might take a quick BRB. Put up an ad or two. And then we will... I'll get that title changed around, maybe draw some more people back in here. Alright, I'm making a move on roads, trying to win the stage. Can I do it? I do it! Last minute move, that's what I wished I could have done at Talladega. But it worked. Now we're in a position I'm not too comfortable with. Lead in. I don't like leading. I don't like being anywhere near the lead. I like being the pusher. I do not like being in front. And we got a really good launch, but once we hit fourth gear, they'll start catching back up. As demonstrated right there. I hate being out front, I really do. Especially when there's so much potential for two car tandeming. But the AI is too scared to get to your bumper. Unless if they're mad at you, they will get to your bumper if they're mad at you. So maybe it's almost uh, better to <laughs> have rivals at least. I'm gonna let Briscoe go by. Um, if you can on the outside, because I, I really do want somebody to push. Anyway. Yeah, chats. I'm dead silent. I'm running out of things to say because I've been streaming for three and a half hours. Oh, this was a bad idea. But I couldn't think of anything else special to do for 500. I mean, I'm only a four-month-old channel, so it's not like I could go back and watch the first episode I ever put in and have too many cringeworthy things to say because I'm still in the cringeworthy phase of all this. Ah, somebody's in the chat. Thank goodness. 
Yeah, Dale, I know you were there, but it's been a couple minutes since you talked. All of my mods seem to have disappeared as well. And our old friend Austin Wayne Self is behind us in second now. So I know I said no spoilers and all, but are any, if any of you are watching the Xfinity race, give me a brief update. I'd, I'd appreciate it. I'm, I'm definitely not going to go back and watch the whole freaking race. So, if any of you are watching the Xfinity race and me at the same time want to give me a brief rundown of what's happened thus far, feel free. Gives me something to talk about, that's for sure. Now we've got Grand M Finger right behind us. We're just going to keep blocking. Really, James? It's a little too early for that, I think. I mean, I hate, I hate being in the lead here, but, I mean, it's working. But we gotta stay here for nine more laps. Which is not A, interesting, or B, B, fun, in my opinion. But if I let M Finger go, it's just gonna be a freight train going straight by, and I really don't want to do that. Thank you to the 15 loyal people who are still here. I appreciate it. I know I, everybody left when I started doing the online races, and that's my fault. All right, we got Dale with an update here. I have Jones winning stage one and stage two. Ryan Blaney is winning right now. William Byron had a problem, so did Brandon Jones. Alright, so none of the people around the bubble seem to be having any issues so far. Brendan Gaughan, Dakota Armstrong, um, that, that seems to be pretty stable right now. Doesn't look like there's anybody in. Yeah, I know. I, I didn't really have much of a choice today. But I still, once the race started, I still had about 40, 50 people watching. But once I hit the online races, everybody just dropped like flies. Yeah, I, I really didn't have much of a choice today. I have a few things I need to do tonight. and Well, I wanted to start earlier, but YouTube wouldn't let me. Because YouTube decided to crash and burn. Brendan Gaughan did have an issue, so he, is he kind of in, in an issue with points now? Because he was the last person in the cutoff inside the chase right now. So is, is Dakota Armstrong catching back up now? I mean, I'm just sitting here up front. This is the most boring thing in the world, just leading this race. No, you don't. I know for a fact that you don't. Um, I have in other 
and off-screen playthroughs, I have unlocked Hot Seat uh, with early success in your first season in the truck series, like an early win in the truck series. It has unlocked it. Um, I struggled a bit in my Hot Seat year, and I did not get a five-star team going into year one, so that really set me back. That's why I'm a bit behind, but definitely if, if, if you win early and, consist, and consistently run up front soon in Season 1, you'll definitely get some hot seat offers for the Xfinity Series. But I just uh, ha had a really rough first year, didn't get a 5-star offer. So Bubble's pretty much secure, okay. Yeah, I knew there was a pretty big gap, but uh, it, you said Gone had an issue, so I didn't know if... Uh, that was, you know, like out of the race issue, or that was a minor issue. You know, I I see a bunch of people all rooting for Cole. What what is it about Cole Custer? I'm trying I'm trying to understand what is it about Cole Custer that people like. He's very boring. He hasn't run run too well. I mean, he's run well, but not outstanding. He really doesn't have much of a personality, in my mind. I just don't get it. What, what's so interesting about Cole Custer? Three laps to go. We're almost there. How many laps are there to go? In the expandy race, I'm just curious. Obviously, stage one and stage two are done, so we gotta get, be getting pretty close to the end. Like I said, if I had started my stream at one, we might be pretty close to being able to be under the race 23. Yeah, if we had ended right at, if we had started right at one o'clock, like I was planning on, we would be in golden shape to see the ending of the race, but. Unfortunately, YouTube had other ideas today. Which is frustrating, but all in all, the fact that they fixed everything within the hour, I'll take it. Alright, 22 laps to go. Yeah. Well, it would have been close. Maybe we'll see the crowd pick up again once the race ends. And I'll change the title. Hit the apron there, and fingers probably. Oh crap! Crap! Special come into the white flag too. That was a bad mistake. Suarez spun out. All right, that's a caution right there. Uh, you don't have to give me a play-by-play, -play, but I appreciate it. I appreciate, you know, a few few things every now and then. Well, I messed up, but Enfinger, uh, in trying to pass me, uh, went away from his... What ooh, What was that? It's like I hit a rock. Did you guys see that? It's like I hit a rock. It's... it's I ran into it. I slid back up the track. All right. Got it. Cut Christopher Bell, but it looks like we are going to win the Daytona truck race. Uh, he's a good young driver. When I asked if you watched him racing go karts, you would see he's very aggressive. I don't know why he's not the same driver in this video. Okay. Alright, we win. Ten Finger ended up finishing second. Okay. Alright, so we obviously won one stage. Christopher Bell won another stage, so we are in the points lead. Uh, we're heading to Victory Lane. I love how they have the uh, fire suits for each team. Oh, that dog looks so happy in Victory Lane. 
And there's us in our fire suit as well. I really appreciate that. All right, so there's going to be a quick ad for some of you. Um, for others of you, you'll stick around with me as I make some of these adjustments here. So if you don't have an ad right now, I'm sorry as you suffer through me having to adjust a few things here. Alright, make sure that's all set. Any complaints over here? Good, good, good. Alright. Hopefully some of you saw an ad. That, I would appreciate that. <laughs> but alright, we win the first race of the season. That definitely helps. Change the title so maybe we have some more people um, come and watch. Alright. Uh, good to see you winning another can. Yep, blah, 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 blah. Are we going to get Not yet. Not yet. But we are going to get Nick's Trinity Hot Seat eventually. But we got Atlanta to deal with first. Also, Custer would shine if there wasn't cup drivers. He's the fastest x driver by far in today's race. Yeah, it does seem like when he is fast, there are cup drivers. So I'll give him that. But there's also... You know, expanded people who have beaten cup drivers like William Byron and and um, Sadler, Allgaier, those guys have beaten cup drivers. So C Custer does need to start beating those guys, it seems like. All right, let's qualify. All right, hit the marks. Go, 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 go. Like I said, uh, when we accepted this cup ride, we knew that this is probably going to be a little too easy for us, but that's why we're hoping we get some Xfinity uh, offers pretty soon. Because if we don't, then we might be uh, in for a pretty uneventful season. But uh, considering I just screwed that corner up, we might have some something to fight for after all. Alright, even after that we're going to start 17th. Not bad, I'll take it. But let's get this underway. Okay. How many laps we have, we'll find out once we cross the line. Nine laps, all right. Oh, freezing. That was not the time to go down low, my friend. I really want to start avoiding hitting people because we saw at the end of the season how uh, hit it. Some of our rivalries came back to bite us. Well, especially if we start pissing off some of these front running guys, we might have some serious issues later on in the season. Alright, that time Rhodes came down on me and pushed me on the apron. Oh crap. That was a no win situation there. Started with Rhodes pushing me down on the apron, and then they started making it three wide. Yep, like I said, um, I don't control when I get a hot seat offer. If I if I get one, I'll race it, obviously. So, we have not gotten one yet. But I'm sure by the time the stream ends, we will have run at least one Xfinity race. Maybe multiple. Maybe we've even won one at some point. Who knows? Oh. 
going to stay high because end finger looks like the fastest right now. Well, technically we're the fastest because we've been plowing by everybody when I don't do th stupid things. What's going on here? My internet go out? going on are we back Is everything back to normal now I don't know what happened there. I think YouTube spazzed out a little bit because my internet did not disconnect. So I think YouTube did a little spaz out there. Oh, I'm paying attention to the screen because we lost about five viewers through, up, through that. That's frustrating. Well, I don't. It, it it certainly looked like YouTube spazzed out because it did not tell me I had any issues. Um, I did not see my internet go out, so that looked like a YouTube problem there. Still got an hour to go, and we've had a few issues, but we've managed to stay strong so far. So we're gonna get around south here. Is that a lap truck? Well, he might have been involved in that uh, little three wide incident we had earlier. It almost looks like Austin Cinder. Can't really tell. But we might have a chance of winning stage one here. But yeah, sorry if you guys had some lag there. It does look like YouTube decided to stop working momentarily. Because none of my uh, things on here told me I had any issues. So it does look like that YouTube temporarily pooped out there. Turn, turn, turn. Yeah, that does look like Cindric. I would love to put him a lap down before the stage ends, but that's probably not going to happen. But we need to focus on the stage win first. I'm going to drive it in real deep here, try to get a run. But it's not going to happen. It doesn't look like... Oh, no. All right, so we, I gotta take a quick break. Here's an ad for you all.
All right. Should be back on track. We're not going to pit. And we will head off to the restart. We're going to start on the outside. Let's see if we can make a run on Nemechek here and win stage two. We did pull a crossover right there. It's just a matter of if we can keep the momentum. Got Wayne Self also looking on the inside, so he seems to have gotten a lot stronger um, because of the success he had last season. So good for him. Uh, welcome back, Daniel. Uh, while you were gone, we had the stream die momentarily. I've had um, I won at Daytona, so we've been and Dale has been keeping me updated on the. Xfinity race, and we still got about an hour to go. Five hour stream, not the best idea. But it does, it does take a lot of the time out of fact of recording this, since I do have, have to, I'm going to have to split this up into episodes most likely because it's such a long stream. And I really don't want to have those two online races in there as well. That, Well, that one online race, that was just a waste of time in my opinion. But here we are, we're leading, we're pulling away again. Well, this is the one issue I have with doing this on stream, because normally I would cut off, and I would save some time, but uh, because we are on stream, I don't really have that luxury. But hello to all of you, I know a lot of you are watching. Hi James, yes, we return to career mode because uh, the online races, we didn't really have much of a showing there. So we returned to Clear Mode. We started the second season. Um, we're in Todd Gillen's truck for Cowboys Motorsports. Uh, we won Daytona. We are now looking at uh, running at Atlanta. We're pretty much running away with this race right now. So, yep, this is Career. Online didn't go very well say the least. Two laps to go on the stage. over a chat. Luckily we have a big enough lead to where I can afford some mistakes. Been here for at least four hours and 30 minutes. Well, we had we had the false start at one o'clock because of uh, YouTube deciding to completely spaz out on me and I did not officially start until about two o'clock. So five hours from two o'clock means I have to go until seven. And I also have the elapsed time. We just hit four hours now. But we should still have an hour left if my calculations are correct. We win stage two. Yay! Austin Wayne Self in second place. He, he's setting himself up for a good season. But we should have an hour left. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Five hour stream on the same game for five hours, not the smartest idea. Not the smartest idea I've ever had. Especially now because we're running away with everything it seems like. But let's see what kind of a restart we can get. We got ten laps to go. I would love to make these races shorter, but the problem is I can't have stage racing for any shorter length races, I don't think, because this is 13%, and I'm pretty sure that's the lowest amount that we can have. Ten laps to go. We're starting to pull away already. I'm interested to see if the crowd will start picking up again once the Xfinity race is over. Because it does seem like that that's going to be pretty close to done shortly. Again, if I had... If YouTube hadn't pooped out and um, let me start right at 1 o'clock like I had intended, uh, we, I'd be able to catch the end of the Xfinity race. So uh, I'm a little upset with YouTube on that, but... The fact that I could do this stream at all after the entire live streaming service just crashed um, is a good thing. I only had to wait about 55 minutes for it. So, there are some pros and cons to the whole situation. But thank you to those loyal people who have stuck around for this entire time. I'm going to need a nap after this, definitely. But it looks like we're going to run away with Atlanta. Second win on the year. We won a stage again. We won stage two since we didn't have the best qualifying effort. Really hope we start getting... Bragger, welcome to the stream that never ends. Your new favorite channel. Thank you, Dale. I really appreciate it. But yeah, Bragger, welcome to the stream that will never end. Well, technically it'll end in 55 minutes, but you know, you know what I mean. Now that we've got a five-star truck team, we're running away with everything, unfortunately, but we should be getting some Xfinity hot seat offers pretty soon. Um, if not, then this is going to be a long hour. I didn't have much choice with the time slot today because, well, like I said, if I had started at 1, I would have ended right before the Xfinity race ended, so I still had, if that had gone right, I would have been in good shape, but I didn't really have much time, especially since last night ended up being so long um, at the football game and I wanted to sleep in today, and I have a few things I need to get ready for an event tomorrow. So, I really didn't have much of a choice. I don't even have a video ready for tomorrow. So, I, I'm... I'm in rough shape there. Just got done with baseball. Justin Allgaier wins. Good for him. Glad to see an Xfinity regular beat everybody out. Just got done with baseball. All right. You know, Bracker, I was a I was a big baseball player in my youth. My team won the championship when I was ten, maybe twelve years old. And I scored the winning run in the championship game. I had some good times in baseball. Definitely my favorite sport.
Sorry, James. Sorry, guys. Spoilers were made. Yeah, I got really bored around <laughs> halfway through, so I was like, yeah, guys, <laughs> just tell me what's going on. I, I'm, I'm not going to go back and watch the whole race, so. So I was the winning run. I didn't, I, it wasn't, I wasn't the hitter for a walk-up, but I was the winning run. It was a really awkward situation. All right, story time with Aaron. So, um, I was on second base. It was two outs. I was on second base. Um, it was a ground ball out. No, wait, it was only one out. It was a ground ball out, but the other team thought it was two outs. So they, so they went off the field because they thought that was the third out. But it was only the second out. So I, I was running from second to third on the ground ball. And they all started walking off the field. So I started charging for home place. We win the race, by the way. But, um... So I started charging for home plate. The pitcher and catcher kind of started realizing what the situation was. So they got back out. They threw the ball to home. But uh, he threw it wide and it missed the catcher. So I ended up scoring. And that ended up being the winning run. So it was a really weird situation. But, um... Yeah, that's how it happened. I mean, I was terrible that year. I was by far the worst player on our team. Um, my my specialty was getting walks. Um, I struck out a lot, and I, I walked a lot. I did not make contact with the ball very much. Um, I think I got maybe two hits the whole season. I was that bad. I mean, I was decent on the field. Um, I always prided myself on being a decent uh, fielder. But, and then after that season, I was a permanent first baseman. Um, I was by far the best first baseman in the league as far as fielding goes. I, I, got, I was better as a hitter, but yeah. All right, we win again. The, do the happy dog, I love that they have that view. This is why I chose this car, to have the dog on the car. Oh, my gosh. All right, we... We have to be getting an Xfinity offer soon. We're running away with the trucks here. This is... I almost want to bump it up to Legend, but I'm not going to. Got a message from Ben Rhodes. Hey, you've been doing really well out there. Keep it up. Thanks. Alright, what's next? Oh, yes, an Xfinity! Alright, you could use your help driving the 40 car at Phoenix. Get a top 22 finish, we might consider working with you in the future. All right, so that is Timmy Hill's car. So um, I'm going to just quickly look at uh, the rivalry system because we never got a chance to look at that. So um, not they're not level 5 pissed off anymore. So it looks like James's assumption was correct that they all went down two uh, levels. So good job with James. So, we are going to head off to the Xfinity race. Uh, we're driving the 40 car, which is Timmy Hill's car in this game. Yep, happy dog, happy Aaron. Even though I've never had a dog. I've had cats, I've had guinea pigs, I've had fish. But I've never had dogs. But, yes, we are finally going to race our first Xfinity race. I, I just screwed myself over by starting this career mode on Legend. That that was just a stupid idea. I don't know why I did this. But they must have seen our, our wonderful win at Phoenix in the last season of the truck race and wanted us to drive for them here. So I've been driving the trucks for a long time now. Now I have to get used to the Xfinity cars again. This might take some effort here. You wanna no James those are your dogs don't give them away plus I can't really afford a pet right now I had two cats for most of my life but uh, they both passed away um, 
relatively recently, not about a year ago. So I, I don't have enough money to afford a pet right now. Hey, we didn't qualify last. I was fully expecting to qualify last. Now remember, this is the home of the uh, Master Dive Bomb in Turn 3. I can definitely uh, use the Dive Bomb in Turn 3, but right now we're on the outside line, which doesn't really leave me too many options except going way up there. So, here's your look at some of the Xfinity drivers. Haven't gotten much of a chance to look at them. Uh, just got in the Steven Light there. Um, what's this I see Ray Black Jr. running the 51 car this weekend? That's an interesting driver selection, if I do say so myself. Must have had a sponsor for them. But you're definitely going to get a flavor of uh, Cup guys here. Definitely you got Logano here. Uh, they tried to get as many Xfinity guys as they could. Like, they got Ben Kennedy in the two-car instead of, um, uh, let's see, Paul Menard or somebody like that. They do have Ty Dillon in this game, in the three-car. But they got Ben Kennedy in two-car. Casey King is in the 88 car. There weren't really many options. You could have had Dale Jr., you could have had Casey King. Those are the only guys that really run that car. Steady. What was our goal again? <laughs> Somebody in the chat remember what our goal was? Because I completely forgot what the goal was. Welcome back, Colin. Didn't you say you'd be 15 minutes? That seemed a whole, like a whole lot longer than 15 minutes in my mind. 20 second was the goal? All right. Well, Bragger, thanks. If anybody can confirm, you can always rewind in the stream. By the way, we're doing way better than that. Obviously, Phoenix is one of our better tracks this time, and Heat Evolution, this was one of my worst tracks. So I, I'm surprised that we're doing as well as we are here. It's fancy with Yeah, I got it. I get it. But welcome back. We are nearing the end of our stream that never ends, it seems like. We only got 45 minutes left. This is our first Xfinity race in the career mode. Hallelujah. Finally got an Xfinity car for hot seat. Seven laps to go in stage one, yeah, especially once we start hitting the Xfinity and Cup Series. These are going to be long races. Easy, easy. Well, I might have to shorten the races, but I, I can't shorten them if I want stage racing, which I kind of do. So I'm kind of trapped inside of a bubble here, so I might unfortunately have to leave it as is. Now I'm surprised they had Almirola in this car instead of Casey Mears, because Mears would have brought the Geico sponsor. So I'm relatively surprised that they put Almirola in this car for this game. Stay low, stay low. There's still a car out there. But we're almost to the end. 45 minutes to go. 
I'm never doing a five hour stream again at this rate. I'm gonna have to think of better things to do for momentous occasions. Sorry if you hear random noises, I'm pretty sure the family's back since we started an hour late. I'm pretty sure the whole family's back now. I, I hear noises around the house, so sorry if you guys hear some stuff going on. That's YouTube's fault, not mine. Two hour streams. That's what we need. That's what I always want to do, but the fact that I... I have decided to do a five hour stream for this. It was a horrible idea. Oh, I keep forgetting to use the shortcut. Dang it. The guy with the really long name who recommended the shortcut, I keep forget forgetting. Hey, for driving the 40 car, we're doing pretty darn well, if I say so myself. Um, if this was a mile and a half, we might be struggling. Well, isn't Phoenix technically a mile and a half? Dang it, shortcut. Forgot. Uh, yep, I finally got a hot seat offer. It took long enough. And we're doing pretty darn well in this hot seat offer. It's at Phoenix, which of course is the track that I pulled off the miracle win in the truck series chase at. If you did not see that win, I highly recommend you check out uh, Rewind the Stream or once I post the video, which I will end up having to do a two-parter, which is going to be a pain for me to edit because this video is so long, but... All right, that's the end of stage one. Shouldn't have to pit, I don't think. This race isn't quite long enough. No. But, I mean, we're up to 12th after starting 36th in, in stage one, so... I'll take that. All right, Colton, thanks for hanging out with us. Sorry, didn't get a chance to do any online stuff. This is the stream that never ends. This is the stream that never ends. That was almost as good as my I Hate New Hampshire song. I'm not thrilled about... Oh, I'm sorry, Redick. I didn't mean to get into you. I was just saying how I'm not thrilled about being on the outside here. Takes away all of my dive bombing abilities, but I think I'll be able to do so here. Jeremy Clement's running in 12th place. Good for him. Hey, we might pull off a win here at this rate. We are doing so well. This, this is amazing. I've never had this much success at Phoenix. This, 
this this could be the miracle that we've all been waiting for. I just wish this miracle happened last season so I could have gotten a full-time offer. But it's the thought that counts. We could pull off our first Xfinity win even though they won't they'll tell us it won't be our first Xfinity win and you you know the drill. Same thing that happened with the truck series. We won a truck series race in the hot seat, but they they didn't give the announcement. You know, James, I'm pretty darn close right now. This is a long time to be focusing on a video game. Oh, I keep forgetting the shortcut. Is anybody else having any skipping or any uh, lag issues on my stream? Because I'm watching it on my computer right now and I, I'm seeing a little bit of skipping. Anybody else having any issues with that? Or is it just me going crazy? Which is a very, very good possibility. Oh, Kyle. I love New Hampshire and the EA games. I really do, but I can't stand them in these games. Which, I feel so bad because I like New Hampshire in general, but as far as me racing them in this game, it's just terrible. Alright, well, we're catching up to the top five, but... I'm pretty sure there's no, we still got three laps to go on the stage. This is a long race. I, I, am I really on 13% race length right now? It seems like this is a lot longer. I really do like New Hampshire. I really do, but in this game it just tortures me. Seven hours of Minecraft. Now, Minecraft, I could see playing seven hours of. I, I've seen plenty of people play Minecraft forever and ever and ever. James, you did a 24 hour stream when Destiny 1 came out. How? <laughs> How? That is ridiculous, first of all, but how did you survive? Alright, I gotta take my headphones off. So if the spotter says something interesting for the first time all all race long, then I'm gonna miss it because my ears are really hurting right now. So I'm gonna take my headphones off. Ah much better. And then we'll go through the shortcut. Ooh, that hurt. Well I I have moved up to the top five before I screwed that corner up. Uh, we only, well, that's the end of the stage right there, so we're going to finish sixth in the stage. Again, uh, points don't matter right now. Pizza, soda, candy, and friends. Yeah, I don't have any of those either. Well, technically, I did have uh, leftover pizza uh, before I started today. But uh, at this moment, in, well, I do have pop. I have pop. James, I thought we agreed not to talk about that anymore. I'm pretty sure we agreed not to talk about that uh, episode that sh should have never happened. I know you're joking, Kyle, but... I really do like New Hampshire, and I, I like to clear the air on that. I really do like New Hampshire, but in these games and in NASCAR Heat Evolution, I, I am absolutely terrible at New Hampshire. Oh, Lord. I'm sorry. Who was that that I spun out? Was that Justin Allgaier? I, I feel bad. Who was it that I spun out? It might have been Justin Allgaier. James, you never agreed. It just didn't bother you anymore until now. Yeah, that's true. 
You don't seem to show up to John's streams very much anymore. I am. That, that's an excellent question, Dale. That is an excellent question. I haven't had to, to say the least. Oh, open, uh, whoever Brandon Jones opened up the bottom line for me. Now I can usually go a long time without having to use the restroom. And I haven't been drinking uh, many fluids while I've been doing this. Meanwhile, we're gonna dive bomb for the lead. Okay, we're gonna dive bomb for second, third, fourth. Hey, if we win this, um, it's probably not going to change much for us. But if we can get a, if we can get a, um, I can't word anymore. If we can get a good Xfinity off the next year, then we can definitely start looking at getting cup, cup rides um, in the next season. And then I can maybe be done with this career mode. Who knows? I don't know what happens next. I really don't. But I haven't gotten this far. Aaron equals NASCAR driver's bladder. Interesting. AL Messenger Fan 88. Who is. Uh, hi. Oh, come on. Turn, turn, turn. Let's see. You're not human if you haven't pissed in about five hours. I've, I've gone way longer than five hours without having to go to the bathroom. I've gone way longer than five hours. It's just a matter of how much fluid you put into your body beforehand, in my opinion. And I have not been having much of my soda. Or my pop. I'm, I'm a Michigander, so I call it pop. James, you're not human. That doesn't surprise me. Oh my gosh, we're almost done with this race. I don't think we're gonna win it. Uh, Byron and Suarez seem to have pulled away from us, but I do think we can salvage a top top five finish. I keep forgetting to use the shortcut though. I need to remember the shortcut. But hello to all of you who are here who have suffered through these five hours with me. Yeah, I really want to know who that is. Is that a, another one of Colin Rad's accounts, or...? I want to know who that is. <laughs> is that Samori, or is that...? I don't know. Uh, for those of you who are not aware, AL Messenger, um, he's a YouTuber that I have come to know fairly well. Uh, he plays with me and John and other people. Well, James is correct, because I barely know any Justin fans. I didn't know Justin had fans. No offense. Uh, what are your thoughts on the game? Do mid do me gawate. I like it. I really do like it. Um, it's so much better than Heat Evolution. The car is so much more controllable. Um, I actually feel comfortable without the stability hop, whereas in NASCAR Heat Evolution, if I was on the simulation... Oh my God, oh my. If I'm on simulation mode, then um, I could not control the car in NASCAR Heat Evolution. This is so much more controllable. I love the more in-depth uh, career mode. And there's a whole bunch of little things that just make it so much better, in my opinion. So I'm really liking it. No, Blake Cook. No, I want to take the shortcut. Oh, that was close. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry I completely murdered your name, but I really do like the game. All right, bye, AL Messenger Fan 88, or AL Makeup, or AL Lumber Makeup Jack, whatever. It's Bragger. Bragger! <laughs> I 
I agree, that would be a nice touch, but um, for their first exploration into this kind of career mode, I think it's definitely a, a nice step in the right direction. I do think it's going to be hard um, to get teams to agree to that kind of stuff. Uh, like real life teams to agree to that kind of stuff. But it is what it is. I think it would be a good aspect. But the fact that you can run your own custom car in this game, it's a good, it's a good, um, it's a good, what's the word I know? It's a good start. Hacker, <laughs> I trolled Justin with this yesterday and said I watched for three years. Oh. Why would you do such a thing, Bragger? Justin's a nice guy. He doesn't deserve to be trolled. Why are there so many skid marks in turn one? We haven't had that many incidents today. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be just a battle on of holding on to third place, even though I completely screwed up the exit to that corner. Um, they, uh, Byron and Suarez have definitely pulled away, unless we get a caution where I can dive bomb into turn one. I don't think we're going to be able to move up any farther. It looks like we're going to get maybe one more race in this episode, or this stream, because the stream that never ends is finally coming to an end. Welcome back, Real Bragger. Um, because we only got about 27 minutes left to go. Well, 37, considering I had the 10-minute break that um, was facilitated by something I needed to do. Did, okay, did I seriously get your name right? That is literally a complete shot in the dark. That is amazing if I actually legitly got your name right. Anytime Bragger says anything, he says something about playing in chances. Very true. Well, I'm never going to try to say your name again because I'm scared that I'm going to mess it up. When you're on top, stay on top. <laughs> no offense. I, I, I got the last name right, too. <laughs> but anyway, we finished third in our first Xfinity race in the 40 car that's usually driven by Timmy Hill. So, that is outstanding. Uh, that race was really long, but that is outstanding. Obviously, points don't matter to us, uh, but we are 29th in points, if you care about that. But that is an excellent Xfinity start. We got about a half hour left, so depending on the schedule, if we have another Xfinity race, then that would be what we do if maybe... Oh, we have momentum! A 10% speed boost. Cool. Nice job with that top 22 finish. Yeah. No kidding. You should pay me more than that. $85,000. Our salary is $10,000 in the truck series right now. Wow. You will now be known as the guy with the long name. Yep. <laughs> That's probably true. Um, all right. Martinsville in the truck series. Let's see how long this takes. This might be a fairly short race. I don't know. Oh, almost there. I five hour stream, bad idea. For some of you I'm playing an ad right now. For those of you who are still listening, then we're just gonna get started with qualifying. I'm trying to filter in more ads. I'm I'm fairly new to monetization, so uh, PlayStation 2, I play NASCAR 6 on. I'm a PlayStation guy. I have 2, 3, and 4. I play this on 4. I play 06 and Dirt to Daytona on 2.
But let's see where this puts us. I have a feeling we might have a decent qualifying run here. Nope. I was wrong. But it was fairly close. I was dead wrong, though. You should join GT Channel Networking for YouTube. Podcast. I have to start looking at networks. I'm, I have one that uh, my friend John recommended to me. And then GT Channel Network. All right. Yeah, I'm, I've got to start taking a look at some networks. But right now I'm just... Um, I'm very new to monetization. So right now I'm just uh, seeing what I get without doing a network. And then I'll start taking a look at... Uh, networks once I feel more comfortable with the whole process. I really have no idea what kind of um, how much money these videos are going to be bringing in, anything like that. I'm just trying to, you know, balance out, you know, when I should put, where should I put ads, and how many ads should I put in videos, and stuff like that. Good one to join. They do direct deposit payments. Yeah, that, that's a that's a good thing. All right, I will definitely take a look at that. There's that, and then I can't remember what the one John recommended to me was. But we'll see. I, I got. I do have to start researching. more stuff but yeah I gotta get I gotta get used to the system before yeah and that looks like shady I agree I agree I am a little skeptical um, I gotta get more familiar with the system like I said before I do anything like that $13 per video yeah I wish I wish That would be very nice if I could get $13 per video. Alright James, thanks for hanging around for this ridiculously long stream. I know you were here for most of it, I know you left at some point, but... I appreciate you hanging around this the stream that never ends, it seems like. Oh, Austin Hill, he's probably going to be mad at me after this race. Um, is that going to cause a caution? Doesn't look like it. I just have such a huge head of steam going into these corners. But I am so much faster than these guys. This is where I'm going to start making some rivals pretty quickly, I feel. Alright, we're halfway through the stage. So we should be in position to make some stage points. I don't think we'll win the stage, but we're in position to at least get some points, which is obviously helpful. But considering the fact that I've won the first two races, I really don't need it. Been here for 95% of the stream, been watching the race and playing all six. Yep. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Turn around, Aaron. Oh, thank you, TJ Bell. That, you made that process a lot easier. I should give. TJ Bell reserves a reward of some sort for that. That was the... That was a wonderful uh, correction job there. Stay low, stay low. No, you did not cause that. I've been hovering by the apron most of the race. I don't know. Don't feel bad. If I blamed all of my mistakes on people in the chat, then nobody, 
everybody would be at fault at some point here, but I promise it's not your fault. But it did take me out of contention for points in this round, which is unfortunate. And how much damage do we have after that is the next question. No radiator or engine damage, that's good, but we got 17% aero damage. So we might not win this one, which is fine, considering we've won the first two races of the season. Come on, turn, 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 turn. There we go. Alright, I'm starting to mess up a little bit here. Yeah, don't feel guilty. It's not your fault. Trust me. Oh, crap. Okay, that wasn't as efficient of a turnaround as I would have liked. Oh, that's the end of the stage. It's all about getting the Xfinity Hot Seat in the Truck Series Championship. Yep. We already got one Xfinity Hot Seat if you weren't here for that. Uh, we just finished third place at Phoenix. Uh, I got a pit for repairs. I don't have much of a choice. I've got to loosen the car up. I have to pit for repairs, so we're going to start from square one again. Let's try not to make too many enemies as I immediately contradict that statement. Uh, we got the 40 car for uh, the car that Timmy Hill runs. It was a three star team, but considering uh, we ran really well at Phoenix uh, in the truck series, uh, we ended up doing really well. We should uh, either rewind the stream or uh, try to catch the video that I'll post later today of it. I have no idea what the team name is. It's the 40 car. Timmy Hill's car, like I said. Oh, Smith. Yeah, we're definitely making some rivals after this race, no doubt about it. Oh, Tommy Joe Martin's crap. Yep, rivals are definitely... Excuse me, rivals are definitely going to be made after this race. Yeah, I'm going to have to split this up into two, maybe even three parts, depending on how... Oh, Lord... Depending on, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to make a bunch of edits to this video, honestly. Um, so this probably won't be going up immediately afterwards because we had the stream crashing when I had to take that break. I, well, B, I had to take that break, which is about 10 minutes of dead space. C, um, we had those online races that I don't need in the career mode videos, so it might take a cup, a day or t well, I'll take a day. I'll probably finish it tonight to get those up. Depending on how much time I have after preparations for the event that I have tomorrow. Try to make a top 10 out of this. 
I would love to get a top 10 in this stage, and I was on pace for one before stupidity happened in the last stage. Dang it, I keep running into people. I think I'm good, I think I slowed down enough, and then I just keep running into people. I don't want to, trust me, I don't want to run. Okay, Self is spinning out on his own. How many more races today? Well, this is probably going to end up being the last race, actually. Because we got this stage and then one more stage, and that'll be right around the five hour mark, and I am definitely not doing any more after the five hour mark. So this is probably going to end up being the last race today. So I need to take a nap. Non stop racing for five hours is a bit much for me. That's the wall. Top 10 might be out of a question, but we will see. We might get a top 10 out of this. It's going to be close, though. I really don't want to wreck my way to it. That, that's, that's the contingency there. I really don't want to wreck my way to it. Who do you think the championship for will be in cup? Um, well, I, I did a whole chase predictions video on my channel. So if you want a little more in-depth, uh, just discussion about this, then uh, feel free to check that out. Um, that's the other stage two, by the way. But my championship four were Trex, Larson, Kyle Busch, and Harvick, I believe it was. Hi, Ron. Welcome to the stream that never ends. That correction, the stream that will end very shortly after this race is done. But welcome. We got 26 laps to go and then the stream is going to be done. Five hours is too long for me. Now that we finally have track position, maybe we can start making our way towards the front. Assuming that my stupidity doesn't overrule. Welcome back, Daniel. I like the tenth time. I appreciate you always coming back to me. We've made it into the top five, and with 24 laps left, I definitely see the possibility of us. Okay, this has got to be longer than 13%. This is a long race. I don't remember this race being this long. Yeah, Truex, Larson, and Bush are pretty well solidified in the top four. It's just kind of between everybody else. Harvick, Johnson, uh, Kenseth, Bush... Kurt Busch, Keselowski, gonna come down to those people who makes the fourth spot in my opinion. That's a wall. Uh, I know. I'm just doing what I, I'm just trying my hardest, even though it sure doesn't look like it right now. But I am going to become the Kyle Busch of the truck series now, and I don't feel bad one bit about doing so. But I do think it might be a little harder this time. 
to say the least. Oh, drove it way too deep. Nineteen laps. This has got to be longer than thirteen percent. I'll have to check that after I end the stream. I per I agree, Dale. I agree. These are really long races, in my opinion. I perfectly agree. And five hours is a really long stream. That's an apron. And that's an Austin Cindric. Well, that for sure takes out my chance of winning. If, if it wasn't already taken out from me. But now let's fight for a top 10. Well, there's your excitement for you, Dale. I screwed up again. Come on, Nemechek, let's move. I, that's not what I meant, but that works too. It's a good drive off here. Still there, he's outside. Clear up top. Not 62 laps. That's 62 laps total. We only got, um, uh, math. I can do math. 18 laps to go now. No, uh, 14 laps to go. 14 laps to go. Inside, on your bumper. Up, turn, turn. Clear. Dale, I was talking to Dale. Sorry if I said Daniel. there. We're almost to the promised land of ending this stream and ending this race. But this is a ridiculously long race. I don't know why it's so long. That's pit road. I'm going to turn. Come on. You're loose? Yeah, I'm loose. I know. I'm loose. I'm tight. I'm everything I don't want to be. I'm tight. Yeah, Martinsville's a small track, that's for sure. It's also an, an annoying track, if you ask me. But that just might be the crazy talking right now. Yeah, Ron, once you get to those five-star teams, it gets pretty easy. Now, I've obviously screwed myself up way more than anything here. But once you hit those five-star teams, it definitely starts getting really easy. But this is the longest race I've done yet, and I don't know why it's so long. Seven laps to go. Just about two minutes left. I'll have to do a little bit of talking just to reach the five hour mark, but. Hold your line. They're high, get up there. Well, why would you do that to yourself, Ron? I can't even stand a 20% race length. 
or 25, and that, that's a wreck. I can't even stand the 25% raised limbs. How, how do you, how do you torture yourself with 100% raised limbs? I mean, good for you that you can survive that long. Lots of caffeine. Understood. Understood. I've never been much of a coffee drinker, but definitely... Definitely a pop guy, so... I understand the need for caffeine. Come on, Yaley, you are in the way of progress. I'm gonna have so many enemies after this race. You have no idea. Yep, we are almost to the conclusion of the 500 subscriber, five hour long stream that'll never end, but is coming to an end very shortly. I don't know how, how I made it, but I did. We got three minutes left. It's gonna be perfect. Get off the apron, yes, I'm well aware. I'm just an idiot. Try to run a half lane above the apron so you stop spinning. Yeah, I know. It's just a habit at this point in time. And I'm getting tired and I'm less focused and all that stuff. But hey, lap traffic is interesting. We finally reached lap traffic. I'm surprised we didn't reach lap traffic earlier. Brown is going to become a pain because he just tried to block my line. Hold your line. And the race is over. I'm on automatic transmission, so I don't have control over the shifting right now. That's just something extra to think about, in my opinion. Matt Crafton wins the race. He deserves it. But we still lead the point standings. We got the two wins. So let's head back to the menu, check out how many people completely hate us now. Which has got to be an even longer list than it was before. We got a minute left before I hit the five hour mark. Yeah, I'm well aware. I'm well aware. And it looks like the next thing we'll do is another Xfinity offer. Uh, we'll drive for Morgan Shepard at Bristol. So that should be a good finish. That's my controller dropping. Uh, let's just see how many people absolutely hate us. Uh, Tyler Young is the only level 5 pissed off, but Briscoe, Chavis, Hill, Martin, Self, Yaley are 4, Klopfel, Nemechek, 3, Boyd, Sindrick, Coughlin, Crafton, Friesen, Peck, Rhodes, Truex, 1, Bell, Brown, Cobb, Dowsett, Greenfield, Mills, Nemechek, Smith, Snyder on 1, and Be Christopher Bell, Chastain, Infinger, For Forrester, and Gregson don't hate us at all. So... That is five hours, guys. I will never be doing a five-hour stream ever again, at least until I hit 5,000 subscribers. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs-up button. And if you want to see more content from ATF Gaming, please hit that red subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. And I will see you in the next stream slash video slash whatever you want to call it. Bye.